makes me kill it. What it good be, hopefully what it should be. This your boy N A O N A A. What up, it's DJ E F N. And this drink chest motherfucker Yappy Hour. Make some love! <laughs> now, right now, man, when we talk about legends of legends, we talk about groups historically has been there from the test of time. But when hip hop, you know, took that turning point from it being, you know, happy to it being serious to it being almost death threatening or death happening we didn't never see that until this group had introduced uh an individual first time we ever seen him we seen them with this group and they was going all around the world getting a lot of finger popping in case you don't know what the fuck we talking about <laughs> I, I was thinking of some other shit but i didn't want to go too far <laughs> we talking about digital motherfucking So, rest in peace, Shock G. Rest in peace, Shock G. Rest in peace, Tupac. Uh, so now, the digital underground. What was the original? Wasn't it three of y'all at first? Uh, original version of digital underground on the first record, it uh -huh. was Shock G and Chop Master J. Mm. You know, the single came out, uh, Underwater Rhymes, in 1988. Mm. And me and Fuse weren't even in the group back wow. then. Wow. So we actually got in the group through doing shows with them. Wow. Right, we was doing a little Bay Area circuit of shows and they needed a DJ. But right. me and Fuse were already Raw Fusion. We were a right. group. And, right. you know, they set up a meeting through him and uh, Chop Master J was the other person in the Chop group. Chop Master J. Chop Master J. Not Jam J. Master J. No, Chop, Chop Master Ma okay, nah, yeah. Jam. Okay. And not at all considered a band because I've heard that Digital Underground felt like it was it was supposed to be like a well, band. Shock was a musician. Right. So right. he was always, he was always going to have musicianship in it. Right. But, Fun fact, <laughs> Shock was actually in a, like an R&B band called the Spice Regime wow. <laughs> before that. The Spice Regime? Spice Regime. That just sound funky so right now. Yeah, it was, Lord, yeah, it was called the Spice Regime. Shit. So, you know, <laughs> I think one of the cats had Jerry Curl or something. Okay, you know what okay, I mean? okay. It was one of them type of things. Okay. Like the O'Sheela. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the sequence and shit? Nah, he wasn't wearing that. Nah, he, he kept it hip-hop. Right, right. But, uh, you know, they set up a meeting with Fuse, but it just so happened that Fuse was... Renting a room out of my mom's apartment. He was living with he was living with us. We was, yeah. you know, living in the spot. So Bro decided to be the DJ, but he was like, you know, we a we a group. Right. Fuck with me, you gotta right. fuck with Money B. And right. that's that's really how I got in the group. Well, you said something that was very important just now. You you mentioned the Bay Area. Right. Now, because of and I'll get straight to it, because of Tupac mm -hmm. and Tupac endeavors, a lot of people associate all of you guys with LA. They just think that like it took me years to realize Nigga. when you in the yay, right. you doing this, but LA is, is gang banging but shit Cali, going Cali on. Cali doesn't get it twisted, but everybody else might. Everybody no, no, else no, Cali does not get right, it twisted. Right, You're right, correct. Right, right, um, right. But I'm saying in, in, in general, it's, it, in totality, people just think California Cali is, is LA. LA. Yeah, LA. for sure. Just like, just like people think the East Coast is just New York yeah, most of the time. Right. I always get that. Like, uh -huh. Especially back in the day, motherfuckers. Uh -huh. Come and they call me like, yo, I'm in Cali. Right. I'm at the uh, Hilton on Sunset. I'm yeah. like, nigga, I'm in Oakland. Yeah, 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 I'm on Fillmore Street, nigga. Yeah, like, I'm, like, we'd be mad far away. But okay, um, okay, so now let's stress the elephant in the room, right? You played Humpty in the movie, correct? That's right, yes, sir. Um, and it's the Tupac movie. Yes, sir, all so I how know. how do you get approached? What what happens? All right, boom. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a skinny, light skin. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you fit My the whole life. You know, yeah, yeah. motherfuckers said I resemble shock here and there. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I was right. born with the nose I got. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Right. And when they made the big movie, uh -huh. I was like, yo, they're going to make the Pac movie. Wow. I should bust a play on that. Mm -hmm. So I just. 
But okay, hold on, let me stop you for a second. So you saying when you saw the big movie, you had the vision from there? Okay, continue. That's ill. That is ill. Continue. I'm sitting right. like, yo, I think I could fuck around and be that guy. And y'all wow. had no connection. I oh, hadn't even met him yet. Right. So okay. what ended up happening was I had my stepbrother film me just throwing on the shit like, yo, peace or something. Yeah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm out there in the streets trying to make it happen, trying to get an audition. What? Long story short, I end up getting auditioned. Now, before I get the audition, I bump into shock, right? right. And I show him, because my family knew shock. That's a whole other thing. But basically, I'd only been around You bump into him in California? Yeah, I, I, okay. I pulled up on him on the show, and I showed him the video. He's like, yo, you got it. So then we start building. He starts dropping jewels on me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. He starts dropping jewels on me. So now I'm in, I got the momentum. Long story short, I get to audition. Shout out to my brother, LT Hutton, who put yeah. me on. That's a director, fucking, correct? A producer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and but but prior to that, before I got the opportunity to audition, Shock was like, yo, you should fuck with Money B and do shows. Right. And so I connect with Mun. Wait, and, Shock's telling you to do this? Yo, yeah. you should tell this part of the story. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. This, 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 this part's funny. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. You meet, uh, for lack of a better term, I, you, you call him Shock. I'm calling him Humpty, right? All right, so you met with Humpty. And Humpty said you should do shows with Money B. Yeah, because Whoa, I was, okay, okay. We, so to to fool the people or? No, 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 no. Okay. So as Digital Underground, we really stopped touring and performing together as a, as a group. Maybe, I think, I want to say 2013, okay. 2014 was the last. Was there a reason for that or no? Shock just was, yeah. he was burnt out on it. Okay. You know yeah. what I mean? Plus he wanted to, you know, he wanted to go and really play his jazz Piano was he already? Stuff. He had made it to Florida, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. He, was he living out here yet? No, nah, he was still. He was still alive. This was okay. like 20, okay. 2013. Okay. So a year passed by, and he was like, "Yo, I got this dude. You should hook up with him and take him on the road, and and you know, do do the show you the way you want to do it." Because he Shock wanted to lean more to the to the musicianship. Right. You know, I'm a hip hop nigga. I still I want to do the records the way we do the records with the, uh -huh. with the DJ and everything right. else. Right. He was like, I got somebody that you can go and you go do it the way you want to do it. Then when I'm ready to come back, because Shock always wanted to just be Shock and right. stay behind the keyboard. Right. And we were always searching for somebody that could play that character, right. but that could actually rhyme as well. Right. You know, his brother his brother was in same song video. You know, we wow. always had another person, wow. but we never had nobody Wait, who with brother skills. was in the same song video? Shock, Shock G? G. His brother was... Big up Ken. That's how we, that's how we was fooling people, because we his brother used to talk That's the with joint us. with Pac on it, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Yeah, that's his that's brother, the first time you ever seen Pac. really looked like him with the nose on. You, you yeah, can't you can't tell, tell the difference. He, they would do that, right? His brother yeah. would play... Yeah, would right, play... Right. Yeah. Like Arsenio Hall. Yeah, So this is where MF Doom got this from. Let's just be clear. Yeah, we would take pictures and shit, whatever. I thought when he was trying to hook me up with him I was like this nigga trying to set me up like right. you know what I mean because right. me it didn't and feel right to you and Shock is a, and Shock is a practical jokester he yeah, got jokes so for that I didn't ass. know if he was trying so, to send me out yeah, he got to jokes. fail like he was just sending uh, right. the nigga over so I was like I don't know about that <laughs> so okay so then <laughs> when I meet this man <laughs> I'm like yo money be peace brother like, he's looking at me like <laughs> it's hard, man. <laughs> but well, you're acting like Humpty. You acting like Shock. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm no. My regular, you okay, know, regular. But when I saw him, I knew it was him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, <laughs> and and we and we met at uh, it was a it was a Tupac exhibit. Yeah, the Grammy Museum. The, yeah, exhibit at the Grammy yeah. Museum. Oh, by Will Show. Um, right. Uh, the, like, yeah, right down. Yeah, the right Grammy there. Museum. I know. I know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo -mo, mo -mo, it was like a little mo -mo. panel thing that we was doing. And I seen him, and I was like, oh, that's bro, right? And I was like. I said, you know what? <laughs> Let me see what this do. Yeah. Right. This nigga has an ice grill. Right. This nigga has an ice grill. Oh, he not letting you just pass through. Okay, nah, that's good. That's I mean, good. it's I only right. That. Come on. I yeah, yeah, big shoes to fill. Yeah, I respect yeah, yeah. that. Like, dude. But yeah. see, but, but Shock's vision was, you know, it, we found out he wanted me to go out because he, when he was ready to come back, he wanted somebody that could be that person right. so he could just stay behind the keyboards and yeah. play the music. Because right. he, you know, one thing that he said that he never got a chance to play the Humpty Humpty Dance bass line live because he was he always be Humpty. Humpty. Right. Yeah. And then he wanted to uh, do that. And he's, you know, he's like, I would freak it. Right. You know, because he had some tricks. Right, <laughs> he was right. going to do that shit. Right. But he never got to do he it. He produced those records. He right? produced right. Yeah, oh. he produced all that shit. Wow. All that shit. Played the, the keyboard right. solos in the video. <clears throat> Other people may be playing, but that's Shock on the record playing all wow. that shit. Yeah, Shock was all a genius. He, he did all the artwork too on oh, all of our wow. shit. Yeah, he shit. drew all of that shit. The Humpty Dance cover. All that shit. Speaking of which, okay. I got some. Got some gifts. I told you. Okay, cool. Gifts. No right, problem. Right, right, right. No problem. We so, did. So, you know, and Nora, you might not, I don't know. Okay. If you fuck with this one. 
but I got the vinyl. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I just need to send me a Nas vinyl. Dude, I wanted, I wanted to yeah. find my original vinyl. I just, but look though, open, open this one. I'm gonna take it. I, I brought, this is the tape I bought as a yeah. kid. Ooh, open that one when you look at it. I'm gonna set it in. I don't know if you're gonna take it or you're gonna yeah. let him keep that other joint. Yeah, let me see. What is this? Okay. It's the vinyl, and, and it got the original. Oh, open it up because you got the cassette. Yeah. They redid it, but look at the vinyl though. Oh, this is redone. Yeah, it's a re-release, yeah, yeah, re 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 but it's doper. The shock draw it. I need to cut pull, 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 pull it out. Ooh. He's got the sex package blue. Ooh. 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 All right. Ooh, black. Sexy. Is that Tommy Boy records on there? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, y'all can fuck my Tom Silverman, yeah. too? And then, <laughs> got the shock G forever. What's, 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 what's what size? I'm large, large or XL? It doesn't matter. Okay, XL. Okay. I'm large. Okay. Large. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Word. So hold on, y'all was on Tommy Boy too? Yeah, we was on Tom, Tommy Boy with um when Reza was signed. Did you oh, see the real oh, tank? No, Prince Rakim. Like, yeah, he was Prince Rakim. He Rizzo. was Rizzo at that. That's time. why they show him in the in the, in the thing. Cause okay. We was on the same label with us. What what thing? You talking about the Wu Tang? Um, the Wu Tang. Uh, yeah, yeah. I used part two. You talking about part two or part one? Uh, See, both. Both? They mentioned Tommy Boy in part one? I yeah, well, well in, in, in part two, they show a Humpty character walk past and something. Oh, I need to see part two. But in the first one, they mention it. <gasps> okay. When he, okay. When he go. So, okay. yeah, Holy Latifah, uh, Daylight was still there, and then we was there right when... Um, Did Tom Silverman wear eyeliner at the time? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said, what the South fuck? Asia, come what on, man. He used to come around with eyeliner oh, on, but have meetings and have lots of sandwiches of bacon yeah, in there. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> I don't no, know. he didn't have. He didn't have. I don't know. Okay, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. know. I wasn't looking in his eyes like that. I can't. Me neither. Well, it was just dripping. I was like, I got there. Mascara looking motherfucker. Come on, Jesus. I'm just playing tall. So I'm trying to get my masters back. Yeah, All right. So. <laughs> yeah, we was there. Uh -huh. Naughty came right after us. Uh huh. And uh. I'm trying to think it was Apache. He Apache. came right after too. Okay. Yep. So how was the experience? Because at that time I wasn't on Tommy Boy when you guys, like you guys, Naughty by Nature, Queen Latifah, uh Dayla. Dayla. This this is a powerhouse label. When I came, the label He's you guys was, them. Yeah, um, huh? RuPaul and them. No, I don't know. I definitely don't know. <laughs> But wasn't Tommy was a dance label? I think about it, y'all. I think about it, y'all. I was like, yeah, what? He was out there with RuPaul. You was in the studio with RuPaul. I was in the studio with RuPaul. RuPaul and homie. He's right there with RuPaul. I can't like that. You was a gangster. Nah, nah. Fat Man Scoop. Fat Man Scoop. Yeah, I wasn't there at that time. Okay, let's see. So, let me, now, let me, now, now, so let me ask you. How was it at that time being on a powerhouse label? Especially in the 80s. Well, it was dope because touring, like every, every, every time we toured, they would always send us and Latifa together. East Coast, West Coast, wow. Yeah, to and then even to coast wise, is that cause sometimes just because we was on that. the same label? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So the very first time we we uh, I think we toured Europe, but you know they I, we toured Europe with Latifa, we toured Japan with Latifa before the record toured, came out. Mm -hmm. uh, right as it was coming out. Do what you like is out. Yeah, do what you like. We do. Some, we did Europe with right, right. do what you like, but when Humpty Dance came out was when we did all the United States shit. So right. we did the. Kane tour with with Latifa, and I'm not sure if she was on the Public Enemy tour, but we did a lot of shit mm -hmm. with them. And then, crazy is that uh, the reason that we were in that movie, Nothing But Trouble, is because mm -hmm. they originally wanted Dayla to be in that movie, mm -hmm. and they were busy; they couldn't do it. It was pop so they on. So then, uh, hmm. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess somebody, you know, Tommy Boy was like, well, we got this, uh, you know, got these mm. other motherfuckers. And uh, Dan Aykroyd came Dang, to right. one of our shows. That's crazy. Saw us. They came back, started smoking. He a musician shit, too, right? Dan Aykroyd, he's a musician. Yeah, he yeah. came back. I thought he sniffed cocaine. Probably Everything. Does that too. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I don't know. Especially the noise of Dan Aykroyd sniffing cocaine. <laughs> yeah, he's still probably making noise. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> Tommy Boy put us on. It was yeah. dope. So you so you grateful for Tommy Boy? Till they kicked us off. I mean, you know. Wait a minute. Till they till they till they <laughs> till they, they, they wasn't grateful us. anymore. Oh, wait till a they minute. dropped us. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear this story. Please share this oh, story. Oh, we dropped. Oh, so what happened? Um, after Kiss You Back, mm -hmm. this is the this is the kiss story. Kiss me and I'll kiss you. So Kiss You Back was, you know, we was on a roll. Same song, Kiss You Back, all that shit. Good. And Tommy Boy was pressuring us or pressuring Shock to make another Kiss You Back. Mm. And 
you know, Shock is a he's an artist. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one thing I always say that the the, the only constant to digital underground is change. Mm -hmm. You know, we always gonna do we never gonna do the same thing that we did. Mm -hmm. So like to rebel, he didn't ever say it out loud, but right. Shock made the opposite of that on our next album. Right. He did made right. it as gritty as he right. could do right. without right. making any of those type of songs. And mm. it was like, man, fuck y'all. And mm. that was it. Man. Damn. And there was no other place to go after that? Well, we, we put our records after that. We, we, Independently. Um, yeah, we did right. like, a, a Jake Records was an independent label. We did Future Rhythm and Who Got the Gravy mm. after that. And now, you know, Who Got the Gravy was, Big Pun was on that album. Mm. And um, Karis won and, and Biz. That's right around the, 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 the so-called East Coast, West Coast shit. Mm. You know, we had Biz, Pun. Karis won all on the record to prove the point. That and they right. have songs bullshit. too. They dope songs. That, that was kind of my next question. Like, I think when I seen Digital Underground, I seen NWA. Um, I seen the coast get along. Mm -hmm. I seen people like happy to share West Coast culture. I seen the East Coast happy to share East Coast culture. Right. You being there, when was the time that you seen? The East Coast. When, when was the first time you said there is a difference, or so, so, someone is trying to? Break or did this you up? ever see that? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean, that's the thing. As far as it felt like people were led into believing that that was right. It. Yeah, just it really didn't exist in our in our space. You know right. what I mean? Because we still was doing shows and we was fucking with whoever. It was really just big and pop. And Ooh. motherfuckers and, and you know You got I, to meet Big? You met Big? Yeah, okay. absolutely Okay, I can finish um, the story um, I blame it on the, you know, the magazines and the, and the media right. You know, they perpetuated it mm -hmm. So if you were outside of the hip-hop community For real, for real Then you might believe that You know, because yeah. I had motherfuckers Used to ride up on me Man, we just whooped the shit out of these East Coast niggas mm -hmm. I'm like, for what? what? Right. You know right. what I mean? Right. We just we just whooped these fools for pop right. And right. I'd be like, thanks you know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Right, right. But, you know, but but I was still would talk on the phone with, with Premier or whoever. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't affect any of right. my relationships, I don't believe. But, you know, whichever artist that kind of like, they needed a, a jump for their career, right. kind of bit into that shit. And that's what it was. It was like the original tragic out. clickbait. Yeah, was, yeah, that's the way to get your get your shit off, is to be like, yeah, I'm riding for such Because the such, two camps blah, blah, blah. were beefing, but then it just... The media is what really kind of like... Yeah, turned it into some different shit. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to say just the media. We had... If it was just them to do, we had people like Westside. Well, no, then it, it started that, to snowball. It, it didn't help. Well, it, yeah. It, it didn't came, help. Okay, so yeah. think about that. Right. However it happened, and then, you know... And I've, and I've had conversations, but, you know... Master Ace making that slaughterhouse yeah. thing, and then oh, Westside Connection. That. Yeah, I forgot about that. Westside Connection that. responded to that. Wow. You know what I mean? It was and, like and, before Mob Deep and y'all did that. And, they did that. Yeah, Master Ace did that. Because that's how. That's why no, Westside. That's a couple years before. That's no, why. Yeah, 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 yeah. A couple years before. West Coast. Um, Westside Connection really was built around that right. retaliating to the to, Master Ace slaughterhouse. In a sense, yeah. Wow. You think oh, about it, right, yeah, yeah. right around that time, because right. Mac Ten was already signed. He had his album out. Right. And then when they did that, it was like, oh, they formed a super group. Like, this is the standing up for the West. And it's crazy because it felt like Matt Stays really embraced the West Coast, like well, the he, car culture. He made, well, the, the thing about it was, he made that song, he said he didn't, but trying to clown the West Coast. But motherfuckers on the West Coast was bumping it because right. it, was, it was banging. And that same song? That same about? song. Yeah. Get the fuck out Yeah, because he had like the, the Roger, you know, he had the West Coast beat in there. Right. And oh, so you know, say that that was to clown? I never. I thought he was all into the car either. culture, Bro. and that's why he did it. No, you're talking about sitting on Chrome. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You're yeah, talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah. You're talking about slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. He right, right. crazy. Yes, niggas on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. All that okay. shit. Yep. He's a heck of crazy niggas on what? Well, I don't even know what he was talking about. <laughs> Bro, when he was clowning, we right, had like right. the Compton hat and the Jerry Curl. All oh, thing. I didn't he was, that. He was fucking with it. Right. And but the song was dope. Right. You know, that album is classic. Yeah, we was rocking it. But then when he made. Uh, the remix to to well, he made the remix before sitting on sitting on Chrome was the remix born to born 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 to roll yeah born to roll was yeah. after that cheap ass nigga cheap ass nigga and sitting on Chrome but whatever when right. he made those yeah he had then, the video with, with then the shit took off with and those the were his biggest the, cars, the low riders those were right. the biggest records right. Right? right and they you know he 
he became like a fucking superstar. My face. Yeah. yeah right. On that shit. It was Holy up. shit! I didn't. I, I forgot about all that, yo. What? All, the, the um the slaughterhouse. Yeah, I never. I never even put it I, in I that never perspective. Thought, I never, listen, you know what? I never. This is not from there. No, no, no I never <laughs> been to this. I was saying. You just you just answer my question. I mean, you well, answer my I statement. Am, I never been there. So if he was dropping like, 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 like hints. I had never been to the West Coast, so I wouldn't even know. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, you look at the video, it got the nigga with the drippy ass, Jerry. But remember, not everybody yeah, was I, seeing I, as I, many I, videos what, that's, yeah. at that point. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you saw it, you would know. Right. Right? right. Or if you hear it, it's like, eh. Right. right. But it was, you know. But now really, that you say it, now it, it registers. Now that yeah, you're hearing it. But, you know, it ended up being a genius move. Because right. he, you know. It, Did you watch the verses with Master Ace? Um, the other day when he came Ace? out no no when yeah. he came when out he came oh you mean with, with, with Kane oh, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get to see it I didn't you didn't see that it. bro yeah. Yeah. we was and that's the one I wanted to see um, yeah. I think we was, was we was amazing. I don't it know what amazing. I was doing I was doing some shit it's your man Kane your man. oh yeah Kane's my guy oh know? yeah I'm gonna drink this shock yeah. G beer, okay, man. Come on, let's warm. do it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so look. Would you would you do a versus? Would you? You know what? And if so, guess who? I don't know. That'd be up to you guys. Like, cause you gotta what you gotta pick. What is it like? Twenty songs? Yeah. They've or, been switching it up, haven't they? I mean, it's still that. They let you do what the fuck you want to do. It's hip hop. <laughs> it's hip hop. I mean, I'm, let me ask y'all. Who, Did you planets? Think? Diggable planets? Yeah, mm. diggable planets. Hmm. I mean, so do, do you guys consider yourselves a band? Going back to that, because I'm saying I started to hear that. I never thought of Digital Underground as a band. So if it was considered a band, it would have been the before the Roots. No, we weren't a band. Digital Underground was more like a a production team. Mm. Meaning, you know, Shock was a, a producer. Maybe going up against the Bomb Squad and Public Enemy. Would you consider in that type of vein? <laughs> I guess they were if, big he, if, you, if he was going to pull Sister Soldier and then have Flav's separate, because now I say that to say it was a collective, right? And remember I said he pulled me and Fuse in. We were right. raw fusion before Digital Underground. Tupac had had his path before Digital Underground. Mystic, Saphir, uh, Cletus Mack. You know, Cletus Mack, um, the Loonies. Mystic. The Loonies had their thing first, but I'm saying the they all had their, we all had our thing, and it was like, come help me. Do this, and I'm gonna do everything that I can. DU University, huh? DU University, that's pretty much, yeah. yeah. Well. And and I'll help you get your deal that you want. And so in all of our deals, we always had a clause, you know, because you signed a label back then. Right. You know, you couldn't go work with somebody off your label. But yeah. all of our deals were, they couldn't stop us from working with Digital Underground. So well. we were always able to go and do whatever we wanted right. with Digital. But we all had. Uh, People think, oh, Tupac left Digital Underground and he got it. No, he came in to that set him up to the get way, the right, deal. The, the same thing with Raw Fusion, same thing with Gold Money, all of us. You know, we were, I always say, we were Wu-Tang before Wu-Tang. Right. You right. know, in a sense. Or, so let me ask you, you meet Shaq, and he recommends you play him in the movie? Well, I showed him the video, and okay. he was like, yo, you got it, you got right. it. And then he was putting out the word to uh, people that he recommended to play him. To play him, because yeah. he knew he was, he knew that he would be in the Pac movie. Yeah, because okay. you can't tell the Pac story without, right. yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. And so it was just, and then when me and him started rocking shows, that gave a nigga the credibility. Because okay. I'm walking into the audition, like, nigga, I'm already out here doing it with this man. But you're doing shows and people are knowing that it's you, or people are... Uh, well, that's what's was ill. Originally, okay. his, originally, it was Money B featuring Humpty Hump. So I'm coming out and they thinking it's me and shit, right? And thinking it's him, Paul. Thinking it's him, okay. And then there was a situation where there was a situation where we (coughs) both had shows. Shock had a show. He had a trio with him, Pee Wee, and Fuse. Acoustic trio. He wasn't doing Humpty shit. So it was within the same 30 days. You know, you can't be in the same city at the same time. So Shock said, you know what, y'all keep, I'm thinking it's a wrap. Like, his money's getting compromised, he's gonna, it's it's over, had fun, right? right. But he said, nah, you do the show, I'll chill. He's like, what you gotta do is you gotta come with your own name. You can't be Humpty Hump, you gotta be your own shit. So I'm sitting on it, meditating, what should I do with it? Young Hump, boom, I come with Young Hump, and there, the nigga was born. So then, you feel me? So it just happened, and and, and, and the beauty That's why the YH is on your nose, okay. You you feel me? Shout out to 40 House Chris for making this particular, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) 
I fuck with you. I got it, my nigga. I, I, I wouldn't expect any less. Yeah, fuck with you. Fuck with you but the, the, the best shit though right. is, I just want everyone to know how generous Shock was, cause right. he gives me this opportunity. Like here, my nigga, get on stage and make some money performing these songs you grew up loving. Right. Pardon me, I'm right. my voice no, is so good. I was at the Ray and Ghost show the other okay. night, okay, okay. yelling my voice. Um, we're at Minnesota, <laughs> Minneapolis. Not nah, LA. LA, okay. LA, I'm an LA nigga. Okay. And um, so long. Story and he wasn't short. asking nothing from you for the. For those shows, he wasn't asking no money. He was just go out there and do that That's shit. Crazy, and then when the opportunity came, where, he, where it was his show, or our show, he let us have it and told me to keep doing. So he was always just here, just giving. Just right. I always tell motherfuckers the G is for right. generosity. Oh wow, wow, you know I mean? real wow. shit, the generous brother. So let me ask you. Um, I, I like you know your history too. I like to you know your you history. Um, but let me ask you. You ask ten people ten different stories. You ask ten people. 10 things about Tupac, you get 10 different answers. All true. <laughs> and, and, and they all true. <laughs> I love that you knew where right. I was going. But can you tell us the different versions of Tupac you met? Starting from when you, how did you meet him? Obviously, you, the first right. Tupac you met, met was the humble Tupac. Of course, the first okay. one. The first one. That was five, five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes later, you said he changed. All right, cool, cool. But yeah, let's describe these, these different versions of Tupac. Uh, you know, I always tell people, because the myth, or what I always hear is like, oh man, because remember when Juice came out, he played the character. Right. And he's like, it's like, oh, Pac is, you know, he's starting to feel himself. Yeah, like he, he became he, Bishop. He really think he's Bishop, right. but I'm like, he was wilder than Bishop before that. Mm. He actually, by the time y'all knew who he was, he had calmed down. Because mm-hmm. he was just a wild nigga out the, out the wind city, out the jungles. Out, right. You know, the, the little uh-huh. projects or whatever. Uh-huh. And he ain't had shit, so he was, right. was going for it. So you was there when, when Digital hooked up with what, what yeah, Fox? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, can you describe Yeah, that? so um, he was in a group called Strictly Dope Okay. with uh, Ray Love mm-hmm. and DJ Dizzy. They signed... Local Bay Area, right? Yeah, Bay Area. Uh-huh. Um, Ray Love actually had a solo career as well. Um, so, excuse me, they were managed by Layla Steinberg. She knew H.A. Gregory, who was our manager, and we were signed to TNT Records, his label. Uh-huh. And he was like, well, I need you guys to hear this group. You know, Shock, Shock had heard Pac in the studio before, but then to hear the whole group, we all had to go meet. What, what year is this around? This is right, 89, 88, okay. 89. Right. So you guys already got records out. No. No? We no, we had do we had do what you like okay. out. But right but all around that time when we shooting a video, they were around. You know, so they basically had the audition for us out mm. in the streets. All uh-huh. three of them rapping. Uh-huh. And, you know, when I first heard them, I thought that Ray and Pac were equally Talented MCs, they were. I uh-huh. thought they were cool, but it was just Pac's personality was, you know, you if you in the room from the you, first day you met him, the you first knew, day, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, you, you, he, he consumed the room, right. right? You know, he just had that much charisma and personality, whatever you want to call it. He had that it right. thing about him, like you paid attention to him, right? And he made sure you paid attention to him. Right. But as you know, as we got to know him and really, because we were the same age we, you know I'm like a year older we were the closest in age uh-huh. so when he would come to Oakland to record or do whatever you know I, I had the crib that was on the block you know I'm uh-huh. in the thick of it uh-huh. and I got the turntables in the room and you know the four track tape I got the run DMC pictures on the wall uh-huh. and shit like that okay. and chicks coming by I got the uh-huh. 40s so this he liked Mr. to hang Oakland out right here. Yeah, he liked Oakland, to right. hang out where I was at so right. he'd always come through uh-huh. and then you, you know you get to learn him for real he, he, he didn't have much so respect was everything. Right. So he wasn't taking any, dis- you know, he wasn't having it. Right, right. And he would do whatever to make sure that he, that you respected him from, from the jump. Right. You know what I mean? But he was a very, also very intelligent. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You know, um, I even say it in a rhyme. Um, it's a song I did, Still Thugging, with uh, Mac Maul and Yuck Mouth, right? Mm-hmm. Um, no, it was Ambitions on Still Thugging album. But... I say, uh, these youngsters with the, with the tats on their belly for the look, I said, if you really want to be like Pac, read a book. Wow. Because he was a, you know, he, he would read. Right. He wrote poetry. He was well read. Right. He was well you want to be like he, Pac, read a book, he, he, nigga. He studied. <laughs> you know, he, he, <laughs> he, he strategized and, right. and planned things out. 
right. all the time. All right. And you he know? was a Gemini, too, right? Yeah, June Gemini. Yeah. Yeah. I always got it. Yeah, he'll flip, <laughs> on, he'll, he'll flip on you quick, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? No, I mean, you know... Um, oh, and he, and, he, and he can freestyle like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah? Oh, man. So, but um, that's, I, always, I always said that. Like, there's different versions of Geminis, obviously. And people have different... But the, the, the most unique part is when you are all of them. Oh, like, yeah. like, to me, I believe when Pac said Brenda had a baby. Like, I believed him. I believed his feeling. But I also believe, I wonder why you called him, you bitch. Yeah, I mean, but... They were but, all his truths. But you, <laughs> yeah, you can, he, wore, he wore everything on his sleeve. He let you know however right. he felt that day. But we right. all feel like that. Right, right. You know, if you walk out and a cop pull up on you and right. harass you, you want to fuck the police. Right. As soon as you leave that cop, right. you see a fat ass, you're like, right. whoa. Yeah. Let's tell do it. how you right. want it. Yeah, right. tell me how you want it. Right. You, you can make yeah, all the records right. in the same day. Right. But, but all right, so um, and I know you you might not be able to answer this, but maybe you you you, you can. I don't know. When was the time? Because it was like when I'm looking at uh, what was the same gang? Oh, the same gang. Oh, the same gang. Um, the pop was on, right? No, no, no. He's not. No, he's not no, on that. No, he's not on that one. Same what song. Was the one same, on, song. Same, same song. Same song. Same song. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. When you look at that pop, you got the Afrocentric. You got, I think he got the, a bone in his nose. He, he got a, 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 a... Like, it's like... To see that pop... Did you meet the death row to pop? I never was around death row. But I, I spoke to pop. Okay. Several times. And I, and I saw him... The last time I actually saw him was after All, after all Eyes on Me had come out. Okay. But... I, I, I would hear stories, but I right. but I never spent any time actually in that environment. All right. So I couldn't tell you no death row shit. Yeah. So you definitely, uh, yeah, because you guys purposely stayed away from each other at that time. No, I, I mean I remember one time he he said come down they shooting some videos right, and it ended up being uh, America's Most Wanted and and um. With Snoop. Two yeah, America's and Most uh, how do you want it? They did them two days in a row, but but when he said come down to L.A., I had heard stories that it wasn't a great environment, right. Right? right? And also, I knew that, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not really a, 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 a jump up and follow type right. guy, but I know that in that environment, if something happened and somebody go, woo woo, or something, he got to go and go with the, with, right. with the gang, with the flow, or whatever right. the fuck. Right. And I'm, I'm just not, that's not my, Was, not was you that. surprised, of, 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 like, like I said, the first person you, you met, for the first person, um, the first kind of person you met, then to the person that he became, because, um, like you said, you said he always was real. He always, but it, it was like excessive at this point. Well, I mean, that I evolution knew. seemed like it was kind of going a little bit in that direction. Yeah, but but here's the thing: I always knew. Like I remember in the early days when you know Pac was just moving with us, certain situations would happen, right. and you know he wanted. Do something, right? Right. And if we didn't want to do it, he's like, "Man, fuck that!" You know, like I, when I get my own shit, my fuckers gonna follow me. They gonna do what I want to do, and right. da, 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 he used to go off like right. that. Right. So I knew once he got that power right. to do, and he had people that would follow him right. and do whatever, he was gonna right. use it because right. he wanted to from the beginning. Right. You know. Right. I mean, as we all, I guess, would, but I don't know. Right. What did Ice T say? Ice T said, "Money don't change you; it makes you more who yeah, you are." Yeah, it has to. It has to. Who you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I just good or for bad. I don't right. think. I don't think that that you know, Pop turned into this super thug overnight, or because right. he was with Death Row. Right. You know, he just he was a person. You know what I mean? And and, and I think that if you you know, he just got out of jail. Right. Right? And it's hard to trust people. He don't know what's what because he went to jail on some bullshit, yep. yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. And what we, from what and we know. And apparently his time in there wasn't yeah. anything good. Yeah, and, you know, he just moved different. Right. And, I, you know, I don't know what circumstances and situations would change any person. You know, you, right. the, your experiences make you who you are. Right. So I don't know... What did, did Shock talk to him? I, if, I know you said you didn't really deal with him much in Death Row days, but was Shock G dealing with him at all? Mm, I don't know. I had a I had a 
an ear, I don't want to say eerie conversation, but I had a conversation with Shock during, a, I believe it was How Can I Be Down conference. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember, ex- man, I wish I could remember everything we spoke about. All I know is that he was trying to explain away the Pac's behavior in terms of what Death Row had created. Like, what, the, what, what that, how he evolved mm-hmm. through, through but Death Row. But here's the thing. People act like, you know, Death Row was this thing, but he was only on Death Row for nine no, months. No, no. The, yeah, in, but in nine terms months, of his, I can't lie to you. But in terms of his career, his life, you. very short. I very agree short. with you. Very I one million percent agree it, with you. It, it, but it that nine like months people, felt like nine ooh, years, yeah, though. Yeah, people like, focus so, on yeah, it, right? Like, yeah, but it was only nine months. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's fucking it's like, that's, But, but that's, it's 90 proof. You know, it's like, right? it was the most concentrated, maybe, It was, it was concentrated, but okay, so... Perfect example. Here's a, a, a story, and this will explain. Like it, it didn't change much. Okay. I remember when we did uh, um, Juice. We auditioned okay. for Juice, yeah. right? So only you auditioned guys, for Juice. Yeah, well, tell, well, tell about that. Well, whoa, whoa, the, the, you gotta get into these details. You trying to say this man nonchalant? Yeah, Juice. Come on. No, no, no. no. But the, okay. so okay. the original, like, I was the one that was called to to really. They wanted me to audition, like, cause we were Carol Lewis. What? For, oh, this is for what role? For for uh, still the, the one at the okay yeah the, the go. Fat. yeah smoke crack don't you from lead yeah, on yeah, me yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah. So that role yeah, 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 yeah. so that was the this role this nigga was supposed to be cooking the yeah. eggs pouring the food yeah the yeah, was to have the yeah. Box. yeah. So they, I was that, yeah so I got the script to audition right uh, and um but I knew I couldn't act uh, and I knew that Pac had went to school for it so uh, first I was asking him to help me prepare for it. But as I'm reading the script, I'm like, this nigga remind me of you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, and uh-huh. so, you know, we, we... Is that a compliment? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, it is. <laughs> but, but I also knew that he could pull it off. Right, right, right. right? right. So we get to talking about, you know, let's see if we can get, get Pop to audition for it. Right. And Adrian, who was our manager, he, you know, he pulled some strings, he hooked it up. So we went there, but also, Tretch, was auditioning for for um, Bishop Two? No, no. The other one, uh, Q. Is that his name? Yeah, Q. He, uh, the Q. one that that, um, um, the, the that Omar Epps played. The DJ. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Q. So, yeah, I always call my DJ Q. that. So, I'm gonna hurt his feelings. I call him GQ, Q because he's local. Yeah. You know so right. <laughs> I call my DJ that. Yeah. DJ Bishop. So the, local. The, the 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 dream was mm-hmm. I was gonna be still. Pop was gonna be Bishop and Tretch was gonna be Q. Like we was oh, all gonna be in the movie world. together. Right. Right. But we get up there. You know, I go in the room. Crickets, so fuck it up. Right. Oh, you tried. You really I tried. Right. <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna get it. <laughs> but and then I, I, I came. I come out. Pot goes in the room. He auditions, and then you just hear clapping and cheering and shit. Right. And he come out. He's like, "Man, I think they like me." I was like, "Nigga, you got this." Shit. <laughs> and I don't know what happened with Tretch. Right. Well, he still made it to the movie. Yeah, he, well, he was in the movie because he was there. Pac yeah. pulled right. every. If you was Pac's friend, he was pulling you into that movie. Just and like he was in the New York Pac. Yeah. Just like you put yeah, if, you was, if you was in it. So, so yeah. the story is, I know I'm talking long. No, no, no. After yeah. we leave the audition, because they dropped us off, right. we had to catch a cab back down to our hotel. We was in Manhattan or whatever. So we're in the cab, and somehow, it was with me, Tretch, and Tupac, and the cab nigga's talking shit, right? I don't know what happened. By the time we get close to the thing, Tretch and Pop pull a cab driver and start beating the shit out of him. Just whooping his ass. And I'm like, I don't want none of that. Right? I was like, y'all crazy. And I'll go, but I'm just saying, yeah. he was he was there anyway. He was already Bishop. Yeah, he was right, already right. ready, it you know, that whatever. He turned into Bishop. Yeah, How so what I'm saying is, right. now he's with Death Row. Right. You talk shit, you're not just gonna get beat by right. him and Tretch, you're gonna get beat by Death Row. Right, right. right. But let me tell you, let me let me, let me make a statement. I never met Pop. But he was still the compassionate person that he was. Okay. So, you know, you can be two or three things at the same time. Right. Yeah. You can be a, a, a loving brother, compassionate. You can right. give back to the community. Right. And you could also not take no shit. Right. From no, I believe that. From somebody. You, go to, you could be a I soldier, go to war, kill people, and come you back come and home, be a yeah. good father. And, and hold the door for ladies. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, right. you know. So let me ask you because... Um, I, like I said, I was saying, I never met Pac, right? Never. Right. He, he, came, he, he came to my hood. I was in jail at the time. Mm-hmm. 
Um, he came with a bunch of drug dealers. Um, in fact, Live Squad, that, that's, that's my crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I've been little homies to them. Um, so I never met. So you know Match? Yeah, match. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, match, yeah, yeah all of them. Um, but I was around Nas when Nas completed Belly. Mm. Now, I believe I, I could be incorrect, but they had a lot of reshoots. So Nas kept going in and happened to be this character, Sincere. So when Nas, two, three months after, Nas finished Belly, he would be walking around with the Sincere cat. And uh, um, not to say um, the Kufi. Right. And, or they call it the Crown, I believe. And it would be times I would just be talking to him, and I'm like, this motherfucker's sincere. Yeah. Like, he didn't catch on. I don't know if he caught it, but we were definitely like, you know, for the, you know, when you play a character for yeah, two months straight. Yeah, you, be, you have to embody that. It's that hard character. for you to just turn it off. Did you see that with Pac? With the Juice character? I know we asked. But he, he said that he reading the script, he already right. saw he already knew it. But I'm saying, but, but Pac, so I mean, how after hard this is movie, it, you know? did you see like any type of change? Was it a little bit of upgrade? Was it like... Nah, he had some money. Okay. <laughs> All right. And he's fucking bitches. He had some yeah. Well, yeah, he was yeah, already yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Nah, Pac was always... Right. Yeah, he had Jada Pickett around? Mm. Look, look at his face. <laughs> He's fucked no. up. Right that was after Public <laughs> yeah. Justice. I'm sorry, Will. I don't want no smoke. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. It. What the fuck? No, that was, his, that was his really good friend. That was his really good friend. So he was always he would always talk about her, but we didn't mm -hmm. meet her. Oh, they were right. childhood friends, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, they were right. back in Baltimore. Right. So right. he was always talking about, yeah, my friend Jada. He got me Jada, 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 Jada. So who had the most groupies on tour? Uh... It, what's true? You mean in our group? Yeah, y'all group, yeah. On tour. Yeah, who had the most goofies? Who's finger popping the most? <laughs> Shock G had the most opportunities. Now, what opportunities? opportunities? Now, let's just be clear. Was he finger popping as Shock G or as Humpty Hump? Funny story. That's who got more pussy, Shock G or Humpty Hump? Funny if they both competed against well, each other. Well, no. Shock, <laughs> Shock, Shock got the most, right? But one time, I remember him coming, coming down and he was like, yo, this chick, she... she he said, Humpty Hump just got his first piece of pussy. Because he's like, she wanted me to keep the nose on. And she, you know, she didn't want him to take it off. She wanted Humpty Hump to fuck her. And he That's was he was not happy about that. Mm. You know, he's like, like, she don't want me. She want this character, right? Yeah. He felt a certain way that she wanted him to keep the nose. He did it. <laughs> he's like, he, he did it begrudgingly. He's like, he's like, this bitch is asking me to keep the nose on. He's like, so I'm fucking her, right? <laughs> With the nose on. Fuck, then he mad. <laughs> then he got mad. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I, I know of one time that Humpty Hump got mm. down. Wow. Let me let me uh, let me tell you one thing about him is I watched an uh, interview on him and how he would break down, you know, voice voice tones. Yeah. How he would understand how Nas rhyme like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How Biggie rhyme like this. And I, I met him. I, 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 it was funny that you said you, you had a conversation with him. I met him one time, and he was breaking down my voice notes. He was telling me how I rhymed, and I had no idea what he was talking about until he passed away. What did he say? He was just telling me like that I, I rhymed from a certain pilot. You know what I'm saying? And and um. Well, I sent you. The, didn't I send you that clip where he was doing a verse? <laughs> A super thug or something? Yeah, but this is before I, that. I, I oh, you, that. you sent that. To yeah. I sent you that. Yeah, but I yeah. sent it to you. Right? This is before that, though. This yeah. is before that. This is like me and like we was in like Arkansas or some shit, and we was just sitting there, and I'm looking, I'm like, is that him? And he looking, is that, is that? And because we we're like, we're like both dolo and shit, like in some like rank Ricky Dink airport, and then we we and he starts t telling me, and I would, and then I seen the, that footage, not the footage of him rhyming with me, but the footage, and I would realize how analytically. He is like it reminded me of Kanye. Like Kanye the other day would just break down hip hop like sports. He just really can't compare hip hop to hip hop. Right. He has to compare hip hop to sports, but it's a deep meaning. And and shock remind me of that. It was it was well it, it he does and he so that's that's even how he used me on records. Like right. my voice was an instrument to blend in mm. with the songs that he was making. Mm. So he would just be like so. He's the first person, you know, you used to, you rhyme, motherfuckers in your beat, right. 16 bars, break, hook, right. da da da. Right. Shock would just play, and then he just fill in the pockets of where he thought voices should go mm. around his music. Mm. So he'd be like, man, I, like need, you orchestration to, I need you to do three bars right here, right. or do eight here, and then I would just go in and <clears throat> do it. Right. 
and then but then he would move shit around or he would just lay it how he how he heard it and yeah. I just I would just go in and do it and let him layer it and blend it in with with the composition. So he was really like Dr. Dre out this motherfucker. Well, yeah. Where, and where you, know, you know he say your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Right. Right. Shaq G was your favorite producer's wow. favorite producer because they anybody that knew like Dre was a fan of Shaq. Hey, yo, sure. so, hey, yo, Shaq told me that Dre asked him to be a member of NWA in the 80s. What? And he said, I'm doing my own thing. Shock told me that I ain't come to drink champs to lie to y'all niggas. Whoa! That's he ill. He said, I'm doing my own thing. That's ill. Cause he was, yeah, because even when we did um, All in the Same Gang, right? Um, we got to talk about it. Yeah, so, yeah, so, you know... That uh, was self-destruction for the West Coast, correct? Pretty much. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah right, exactly that. that. Cool. But uh-huh. in, in the part that we did, you know, Shock's playing it. Uh-huh. Right, and, you know, on the part he breaks down and he's playing like the. So he produced that part. That part. So he, Dre had him come in the to way. play it, oh, and man. and Shock told me I went in the studio, but Shock was like when he was playing the Humpty, Dre was like <laughs> trying, to, yeah, trying yeah. to see, making sure, yeah, trying to yeah, see what yeah. you know how he was doing right. it. Mm-hmm. You know, Shock, Shock was that guy. Shock okay, that guy so let me just ask you because this is this is something that I, I just Mm-mm. he's sitting around. Y'all got digital underground, and he says. I'm gonna be two different niggas. How does this like? How does, I don't, like what's the birth of, of? Yeah, yeah. What's the birth? Like, like, did, did he want to be like, yo, listen? Did I'm y'all a, think I'm, it was corny at first? Like, what? How was it? Nah. Um, the first time you really, if you go back and watch the Do What You Like video, Humpty's in the video. Do what? You but like. at that time, da, 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 da. Like, he didn't have like, a name. Da, da, da. Right. It was just a character that he that was you know because he he had MC Blowfish. Right. Shock that was, video is wild. Too, Shock was, <laughs> you know, Shock had thirty characters right. that we know about. Right, <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying. Right. But um, the even even the Humpty Dance came about because it was a couple of songs that we couldn't get cleared. So mm. Humpty Dance and Freaks of the Industry were like the last two songs that were recorded. Mm. And the only reason we recorded them is because two of the songs couldn't get cleared. We tried to use like a Kraftwerk sample for mm. a song that didn't get cleared. Mm. But um. He, I remember going out. I remember I borrowed my manager's car. Car or car? Car. Okay, okay. Got drunk, crashed right. it, shit, came back. I was so drunk, I didn't even act like nothing happened. But right. it was like, look, listen to this shit. Uh-huh. As soon as I heard it on the four track, I was like, we out of here. And that was do what you like? Humpty Dance. Oh, Humpty Dance. Okay. Yeah, first wow. time, I, and I still have the I, I still have the cassette with the four track version mm. of the song, and the, the, the break and the drums is just cutting through, mm. crazy. It's yeah. more hip, mm. you know, it's hip hop, but the, the four track version right. is just a little grittier, right? right? Right. But first time I heard it, I was like, this is it. And I don't know between do what you like and making that song when he named the character, right. but. All I know is I heard that song and it was called The Humpty Dance for Humpty Hump. And then you knew that DJ Enough from Live on Drink Chance for Digital Underground, goddammit. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Hey! I, hit, I hit you so I'm done. My bad. Uh, cool, no problem. Did, did he say he was going to do the whole character, though? I know that he appeared. No, but... but this, no, no, oh, okay, but okay, let, 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 let me ask, let me ask yeah. you a question because okay. you did say, did we think it was corny or was it weird? Right. During when we shot the Do What You Like video, it was just a wild video. We was just having fun. No, it's just wild. Acting crazy. <laughs> so whatever he wanted to do was like, whatever. Right. Because we was on some whatever shit. You know, right. the Bay Area was like, mm. it's just a diverse, it's really a do what you like type right. of environment. You know, every right. BU, that's where fucking the Grateful Dead is from, fucking um, Slide, yeah, you know, Family Stone, <laughs> Confunction. Right, right. You know, it's just funk, it's it's hate street, it's <laughs> It's it's freedom right. to be who you are, right. right? So if that's what he wanted to do, it was like we're rocking with it. Mm. No, but that was the first time in hip hop we showed that one person had two different personalities. Right. After that, you see Method Man, Takao, you yeah, see yeah. Uh, Nas Escobar, uh, Nas Escobar, you right. see Nori, uh, Jose Luis Gotcha. But the first time, yeah. and not only that. He actually acted out his character. Know, he was committed to the other character. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we've... Had a backstory and everything. Other than MF Doom, 
Because I never thought it was MF Doom performing. I'm kidding you not. I'm what so he sorry. told me. I'm so sorry. Like, I just always thought it was like, he just said, fuck it, I'm a, the industry fucked me, so I'm fucking the industry back, and I'm going to have 10 shows at once. This is before Instagram and Twitter. So I thought MF Doom would be at 10 shows at, at the, the same time. The rumor time. is that he would do that. I don't you know, know, I didn't even know who that was for a long time. Who MF Doom? Yeah, because you know, that was that my guy. We, was all, we, we, we toured together with Yo, Third Base. With Third Base, right. Yeah. All right. You want me to tell you some shit? What? I might have been at least 35 years old before I realized how GM the other was not the same. Hey, so I ain't mad. I am trying to go through this whole interview. I'm going to take a shot for that. Hey, what I was saying. Hey, you know what? You know in the movie. I had to be grown, grown to realize what? And I was just like, what? I was like, oh, shit. I was like, they're the same note. Yeah, City Hall shit fucked everybody up. Hey, you know what? Yeah, so we played it right. In the movie Goodfellas, when dude is like the Lufthansa heist, the greatest heist ever played. Pulled. That's in JFK. They, they, they pulled off the, the robbery at, at the airport. Humpty yes. Hump is the greatest trick pulled on hip hop right. ever. Because right. niggas didn't know that shit for 30 years. Yeah, I didn't know it for 30, 30, 30 years. And would argue and fight about it. Because yeah. 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 you yeah. fucking yeah. led the yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. So so this is not a marketing scheme from the label. This is this is him or this is something y'all came up No, this is his creation. Oh, wow. Remember, even before that, he was MC Blowfish from Underworld Rhymes. Right. And that was a real... for people that don't know, that's the most dangerous fish that you can eat on, on earth. Blowfish. Yeah, if you, it was the if most dangerous cut... MC oh, that's in the oh, sea. Oh, I get it. Oh. MC Blowfish. It, it didn't make sense to me back then, Blowfish. But then, I, you know, I got a little bit of money and I... Yeah. I yeah. Blowfish is dangerous, motherfucker. Yeah, he's, dang, yeah. he's a dangerous and MC. Shock, Shock told me this. He said, mm-hmm. when they recorded the song, Do What You Like, he just oh. does the voice. They go to... When y'all was... Doing the video, they hit the party supply store, buying mad noses, uh-huh. just giving everybody nose. That's why MC Light got the nose in the video. He oh. said when he put the nose on with the voice, it was magic, right? Wow. So then he's, they're looking at the edit in the video and they're like, nigga, that's that. So they like cut out everybody else wearing the noses, but we're gonna leave light, because we got MC Light right, wearing the nose, right. we're gonna leave that. Right. So he just kinda cut all the other shit out. He said they bought So made, he created it in real time like the he character. Watched yeah, it in the video, yeah. Right. It just He's happened. legendary, man. Like it spoke to him. It just had it right. worked. Definition of organic. Yeah, so there was no meeting about this is what we're gonna do. Wow. Yeah. I got this idea. Nah, wow. it's just he showed on set, he was wearing the nose. We was like, all right, cool. But for lack of a better term, that's like the first gimmick in hip hop, right? Mm. Low key. Is, I don't know. Is gimmick a bad word? No, it's not. But okay. I don't know that that was the first one. I don't, we'd have to really think about. You know that. what? You, you, got you can't to, use that you, use, you, loosely. You, you, right, you can't right, use right, that right. But there was other people who don't had disrespect spikes. gimmicks like that. Spikes, yeah, <laughs> spikes. Because spikes, I would look at spikes like a gimmick too. Like, um, you mean like Grandma slashing them? Yeah, like I mean, well, that, wasn't you that, know, that was that then, era though. They, yeah, they had to because they right. were they were performing with Confunction and. And those, you know, groups that had, some to, tight ass had to rock the shit. That's what it was. Yeah. Rick James and them. They were inspired by those groups. Rick James, right, yeah. Right, right, they right, they right, had yeah. to, they was, that, that's what a rock star was. Right. And they all aspired to be rock stars for the time. Right. Like, there was no yeah. rap star. Right. right. And, and remember, they, Kaz was here saying that, that a lot of those early years, they were with punk rock groups. That's right. what I'm saying. So they they were, were all kind of looking alike. Right. Looking at Rick James, like, right. that's it. Like, even, um. That's it. But fuck me up when you, you ever see Beach Street when he got the dudes with the, 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 yeah, the, the shit. The Mohawks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, all right, you're doing too much. Yeah, they was dressing fucked up. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> throw it out there, huh? It was bad. Yeah. So we got a game that we play on our oh, show. Oh, shit. It's called Quick Time with Slime. It's a shot uh, game. Uh, I'm um, Charles. I need y'all to relax. Shot game. Come on. Ah! All right, so we're going to play. Uh, like, ah! That side of the room, y'all. Y'all was distracting me. Um, so it's, it's you pick one or the other. If you pick two, you take a shot. If you pick none, then you take a shot. And we take a shot with you. Okay. Yeah. Just not me today. I'm just fucked up today. But I don't have a problem. Okay, you ready? Don't cheat Who's drinking for No, no, no. Don't, don't cheat me. Okay, come on, Sonny. Sonny, come on. Sonny, come on, Sonny. I still want to go. It's all good. Sonny, we need you over here. Oh, yeah, Sonny's going to take my shot. Sonny, come over here. Come on, Sonny. Get over here. Sonny, get your ass up. Put the back of your Rolex on. Put your Rolex back on. Put your Rolex back on. You take it off on the weekends? What are you doing? Oh, shit. Put the rolly on, Nick. Come on, come on. Make sure the rolly Let's go. All right. Off top, I don't. No, sit by Nori, man. What, 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 I don't mind. You going to stand there, sit right there. But um, what kind of shots you guys want? What you got? Man, I'm just drinking the shock. What you got? No, no, nah, nah, we, we got, we got, we got Duce, we got Ciroc. What is that? Yo, we got the tequila. You, you got the tequila for you? This is Mama Juana. You got some Mama Juana? What is it? 
It's Mama Juana. I don't <laughs> recommend it. Don't do I it. I don't. I don't. No, he, he, what he, it tastes like? I think, I think you like it. <laughs> he said, I think you like it. I think you like it. <laughs> it tastes like ass and pennies. Okay. <laughs> I like pennies. You like pennies? <laughs> I eat pennies. I can eat ass. That's eat ass. If you eat pennies, I, I, I can tell you if I'm a fuck with that's what Eddie, Eddie <laughs> asked you to say. That's what uh, that's what that's what ass sound like tastes like. Pennies. It could be a we show. Or it could ass. be a religious movement. Whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right. So you ready? I'm ready. Uh, yeah, you, you don't gotta take it yet. Okay. Oh no no no! You ain't gotta go that far. You ain't gotta go that far. No, I'm not gonna shoot. Right, you, right. you keep that bottle. I got another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! I'm just gonna sip it. You gotta, right. you gotta get a shot soon, no? Yeah, yeah come well, on. If it's, I need to, I'll drink yeah, yeah, some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a rock. It's a rock. It's a rock. You guys are a team right now. All right, all right. I'm gonna start it off. I'm gonna start it with you, and then I'm gonna bounce back and forth. Okay. Oh, we don't both answer just one at a time. One at a time. Yeah, one at a time for now, just okay. to make it. Um, but, but you got to drink either way. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. No, 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 no. Too short or E40? You talking to him or me? You. Too short. All right, I'm gonna ask you that too. Too short or E40? Wow. Short dog. And you said. Too short. You said short dog. I'm from Oakland. Okay. All right. Yeah. Is there a reason why? I'm from Oakland. No, on the real, on the real, there's a reason why because too short. Is really my biggest inspiration to think that I could become an MC. Only because growing up in Oakland, uh. I thought that you had to be from New York or LA to make a record. Uh. But to, you know, when I was a kid or a teenager, and to see a motherfucker that's on the same bus with you yeah. and he got a record out, that's like, oh, I can do it. Well, you were the bus for two shows? I've been on the bus. Okay. I've seen him on the bus before. The Charlie? Huh? The Charlie? No, not the Charlie. Uh. <laughs> Actually, no, I take that back. I was on a bus and he was at the bus stop. He was outside. I rode okay. by and he had the, the old too short hat. I was mm. like, oh shit, that's too short. Okay. On, but you know, just being able to right. see and touch somebody that was doing it made me feel like I could I could do it. So, so I'm you always. You heard him say, bitch, it changed your life. Exactly. I'm always this good makes too, too short. Too short. Yeah. Yeah. You short, my nigga. Too short. Souls of Mischief or De La Soul? De La. I got mm. to do De La. Wow. And I got Bugs. a reason for that. I've cool. always said that De La Soul, you know, you know, everybody talk about they got many styles. De La has many styles. Mm. From song to song, cadence to concept that right. goes specifically with the track. I think De La does that better and more than any hip hop group in history. I agree. Um, I agree. They lock got their masters back. Is, is that something yep. you guys are interested in? Um, I'm happy for them and it's, 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 it was time. Is you know, because really, you, guys you know, try to do like, um, well, you know, um, I don't even know if I should say this loud, but I'll say it loud. But only reason being for some artists because after I think it's 33 or 34 years, mm -hmm. no matter what, your masters revert back to you anyway. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why I say it, not to say it loud, because mm -hmm. labels also know that. So mm -hmm. if they're still making they money off your it. masters, when it gets close to that time, right. they start trying to do shit to hold you up. Right. But right. I'm not sure how many years passed. Mm -hmm. You know, but but from what I understand, um, if it's Warner or Tommy Boy, they also still kind of make money yeah. from it yeah. but you know I think all artists especially from the era we should all get our masters back and, um, and it's, right. it's what, one more thing before you move on sure um, you know on Dela, you know on Pop right you know on the original Pop and then Pop has this record dissing De La mm. later on in life mm. where was you at and how did you how did you comprehend that I thought it was a misunderstanding and I thought that... Oh, you knew what it was about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they in the video... What's the, um, oh, that was something specific oh. that it was about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the video where, they, where De La Soul they, is... They perpetrated dogs. They, yeah, they and, and they got their own in the hot tub, and then they oh, is fake, I, oh. and all that shit. And then, Pop was like, he thought they was taking shots at him. Because all around the world? Around. He's in the hot tub. <laughs> nah, from... Oh. from uh, uh, You know the song. Get Around? Is not from Get Around. Song. But I'm saying not taking shots is uh, y'all and I Get Around. Tupac took it as De La was taking shots at him wow. when they was like perpetrating with the with the, mm -hmm. right, no, the no, hot yeah, tub yeah. and then they take the shit away mm -hmm. or whatever. It, mm -hmm. He felt like it looked too much like him mm -hmm. in that video. So like I said, Pac is gonna snap back right. right away. It was surprising to me because we were cool with De La and I'm sure De La thought the same thing. 
Right. So it caught um, them off guard, if anything. Right. And I don't think that Daylight did that specifically to take a shot at Pac. They were just taking a shot at, at the industry. At the industry. Right. Because that's what niggas do, you know. It's right. in every R and B video. Right. Motherfucking yeah. hot tub with the girls. Right, right. Da, 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 da. So that's that's what that was about. So I, I when I heard it, I was like, ah. you know. But I I'm not sure. Look tell me what Google says. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they they kind of made peace with that before he passed. Mm, okay. Biggie or big punt? Biggie. Lyrically or as a person? Whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna go with Big. I'm go with Big. Cause I know. Him. Okay. Tupac or DMX? Tupac. Machiavelli. Easy. Okay. L.A. or Miami? <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's from LA, so he's gonna say. West LA's in the building. <laughs> um, I don't know enough about Miami, so I'm gonna say LA. Okay, obviously LA, right? Yeah, I've only but been here. But the motherfucking purple tape was written here, so I'm loving Miami. <laughs> Shout out to y'all niggas. Man. <laughs> so Yuck Mouth or Mr. Fab? <laughs> Yuck Mouth, nigga. It's crazy because that's a good one. Mr. Fab is from from my neighborhood, uh. but lyrically. I always say that Yuck Mouth doesn't even get appreciated yeah, no, he, half he, as much as he should. Yeah. He's a beast. Yeah. So, Yuck Mouth. Okay. If we're talking hip hop. Yuck Mouth. Yuck Mouth. All day. Okay, Scarface or Ice Cube? Take a shot. Mm. Cube. Cube. Cube? Yeah, y'all said that too easy. No, that's my, you know, Cube Face is my guy. guy. <laughs> and we love Face. Oh, yeah, Face is my guy. Motherfucking death certificate. Yeah, he's, I'm riding with that. He's the guy, but, you know, Cube, come on. All right. Okay. Radio or podcast? podcast? In my older age, podcast. Okay. Uh, I don't even listen to the radio no more. All right. Me neither. 80s or 90s hip hop? 90s. 80s. Mm. 90s. 80s. 80s? Yeah. Why? Because that's what shaped me. Mm. Right? You know, I, we came out in 90, but I, I took everything, you know, I, we took the... the EPMD. You fell in love with it. Yeah, Rakim, Karis One, the fucking. It molded you. The the Crash Crew, the the Fearless Four. Mm. You know, that's that's my shit. Okay. Fresh Gordon from Tommy Boy. Mm. (laughs) NWA or Wu Tang? NWA. Wu Tang, I got to represent for mine. You guys to start taking shots when y'all disagree. <laughs> oh, that's what you want? I take a sip. Yeah, take a shot. Come on, go, go, go. Hey. So you I see said, what this shot said, is. You so said I'm only NWA like, you don't like that. You said NWA like that, and you said Wu Tang like did, that. I did. Okay, I swear. Okay, I just wanted to see your explanation, NWA. Well, I, well, you took a shot. We actually, this underground uh-huh. comes from the NWA family. Right. If it wasn't for NWA, yep. Because right. our our Asian Gregory. He used to he used to road manage uh, for Ruthless Records. In wow, NWA. that's crazy. And wow. he, he used the money that he made working with Ruthless to start his label, which signed Digital Underground. Wow. So we came up under and around NWA. But that's you know that's just part of it. The other reason is <clears throat> we are from Oakland, and if you know our culture, you know we ride around with four fifteens in the trunk. Mm-hmm. We we, we bang it. So when Wu Tang came out. I didn't hear it because it wasn't we wasn't slapping it in right, our cars right, like right, that because right. it was just, it was right. it didn't it didn't bump. Like I used to like uh what's it they used the underdog shit. Wu Tang clan it. Yeah, that was my shit. Okay. Right. I used to play that in my in my Mustang. Right, okay. And I had, you know, I had like I said, I had four fifteens, that shit used to pound. But other than that, it wasn't what I was riding around and the ladies wasn't paying attention to that. Mm. That's what I was on. Mm. We was rocking too short. Mm. WA. BH? Well, if it ain't got no. If it, the bass, the bass. Wu Tang didn't have enough bass lines for me. Right. You okay. feel me? It right, had nothing right. to do with, with them personally. It's right. just that it's. And it was, you know, it was mixed sonically. NWA would sound better in my car than Wu Tang. Wu Tang was more of a headphones on the, on the train type mm. shit. I got it. I, well, it took me a while to get it. Mm. Like, I love Wu Tang. Mm. 
but I didn't get it when they first came out. Right. So now you you said Wu Tang. I Being said, from I LA. said it quickly. Oh, he's a Wu Tang yeah, yeah, so guy. I, 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 need to, I, need to, I need to know the explanation. Yo, man, my perspective on the matter at hand is that the Wu Tang is the greatest shit to ever happen to hip hop. I said it, quote me, in any shape, form, and fashion. I love the God so much. I just came from the rest. That's why my voice is parched. I was over there wilding at the Ray Ghost and Jizz at Three Chambers tour. That's right. how I get down. I mean, That's if anything, both of those. Niggas right there. Crews and those groups are the best thing that ever happened. Yeah, no, they're 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 the they're, ultimate they person are, right there. The the ultimate ultimate person. wouldn't exist without from the NWA. tree from the NWA yeah. in the tree that yeah, they, they spun and, and Wu Tang. What, what, the what tree I'm saying is born. they're both equally great. Right. But if you ask me one or the other off the rip, I'm going to immediately say NWA. Right. I'm going to say NWA over a lot of groups. Right, absolutely. You know, if you, you say you might say Digital Underground and NWA, I'm gonna go yeah. like oh, hey, yo, I don't my know. two favorite albums is Death Certificate and Only Built for Cuban Links. Mm -hmm. Death Certificate Ice Cube? Yeah. 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 That's, that's one of the best albums that's my two in, in, in hip hop and in music, I think. Period. Like like one of the best albums. Okay. All right. DJ Quick or Dr. Dre? <laughs> Pour me a shot. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go drink. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go drink a shot, but I'll drink a shot. Lord so I'll have that. mercy. Yeah, yo, that's the hardest he question. He finally got me, bro. He have, finally got me. You don't want no mama Juana, man? They don't yeah. have measurements that are capable of answering that question. Yeah. So I respect uh, that. This is red. I respect that. Red to y'all niggas. I love y'all. Yeah. Quick, Dre. Love so you. we just no. drinking? Yeah. Both? Let's drink to DJ Quick and Dr. Ooh. Dre. I love them both. Yo, you know what's crazy? Right. You know what's crazy? What's crazy is, you know, we going through this Travis Scott travesty that just happened in Astro World in Houston. Rest in peace to everyone who lost their life. Rest in peace. Um, and and you know everyone who got hurt. You know, my love go out to them. Yes. But today on Twitter, because I always go on Twitter because it's a negative fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> so today on Twitter, they they they're, they're reporting other people who stage dive and other people who like did Marsh Pit type of shit. And there's this whole monologue of DJ Quick doing that. And I'm like, whoa! Like, his music doesn't reflect that. Like, I don't listen to a DJ Quick thing and be like, he's gonna be Wait, Marsh Pit. But this is in relation to the Travis Scott shit? No, they were just oh. showing how people, um, today they was just giving examples how other artists, you know, do a Marsh and Pit. He's, and he's been doing and it. He, they, they showed a monologue of him like a couple of times just jumping in the a crowd. Montage, right, right. Sur uh, a montage, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, um, surfing like them, like picking him up, right. and he's like, like laying back, and I'm like, whoa, this is the most white boy shit I've ever seen. <laughs> like, like quick dude, because you know quick is just just. Yo, hood, hood to me. He's a and G. I, but I, I, didn't, I actually didn't go to his festival show, so they're showing him in festivals, and they're, they're comparing what they were trying to do was say like, yo, listen. You know, the security wasn't great at the Travis Scott thing, but it wasn't Travis's no, fault. Yeah, no, yeah. You know no, what I'm right. saying? So that's what they were trying to explain on Twitter. But the funny part was I got to see DJ Quick. You know what I'm saying? I don't I, know I've what never, song he did. He jumped I I, I, I've just never like seen, Compton. I've what never seen yo. DJ Quick not smooth. Yo, like, I see, he's always been the smoothest motherfucker ever. Yo, I seen Quick <laughs> DJ yeah. one time, uh -huh. and earlier that day he was on Instagram, posted the story at uh, Amoeba Records in LA, buying records. The nigga comes to the gig with all vinyl, he plays a record, takes it off, hands it to a nigga in the crowd. Throws the next record on, spins it, takes it off, hands it to a that's nigga quick, in the crowd. That's some crazy and, ass and, shit. Quick and DJ. Quick, uh, quick, quick my Quick's a DJ, oh. and he's a music. Oh. Right. And I seen that motherfucker do tricks no, on, no, on no, NPC three thousand. Yeah, yeah, he's up. Yeah. Quick is oh, ready. Dope. I'm yeah. ready. Exhibit or Razcast? Raz. 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 Shout, Shout out, out to, to Exhibit, but Raz. 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 Now y'all answered that way too fast. Raz. I mean, Raz. Like, and they family Raz. too. Raz. 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 Raz is my little brother. That's my brother. That's family. Raz has. I gotta call Raz as soon as we get out of here. That nigga said I'm a. And, and Exhibit is my man too You know what I mean But that but, nigga but said Raz I'm a cross my, between Clarence Thomas And Nostradamus You already no, know Raz I'm gonna touch that ass beast. I mean You are <laughs> Okay I got it I got like it Raz is having those lines That haunt you Yeah Raz, 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 Raz is a uh, Unofficial member Of Digital Underground That's what's He's oh, done shit. shows Big up yeah. to Raz Okay yeah. a great dude XXL the source Wow. I probably read the source more than XXL. Yeah, that's a fact. So I would say the source. Okay. Yeah. I and it's Haiti. Only because. Okay. Rap City or Yom TV Raps? Rap City. 
the Young basement. TV raps. That becomes a generational thing. Yeah, yeah Young yeah. TV raps. raps. That's how we started basement. that shit. Yeah, I would was say you in there on the basement. Young TV raps. Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. Mm-hmm. I on. feel you, but yeah. Yeah. Basement, though. I just spoke but, to Ed Lover. He want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, hit up Ed. You know, I'm like a, I'm an unofficial Queens okay. nigga too. Okay. That's what I mean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't know? Or San Francisco. Oakland. What are you talking about? You take a drink. You take a shot. I wish I could. Hey, let me. Wait, are you even asking me a question like? Let me get y'all jewel about this man right here. Okay. This is the most Oakland nigga in the world, right. but he's a motherfucking 49ers fan. So this nigga be walking around with the Niners hat on, and all these Oakland niggas with the Raiders oh, but, hats be but, sweating him. But they took the Raiders from y'all, right? Y'all? But I'm saying yeah, historically, yeah, you have to imagine him in the early 90s when <laughs> Oakland was the murder capital of the world, of the country, whatever, <laughs> and he's walking around with the Niners hat on. And all these <laughs> Oakland niggas is like, I love Mun, but that nigga got the 49ers hat on. <laughs> right, right, right. right. So legend and that's the, that's, that's, the enemy, that's the enemy football team? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, all it's right. It's like the cool. Jets. Y'all take that shit. Hella serious. ME40. All right. Salute. Girl. Juice or above the rim? Juice. Juice soundtrack. No, the snow. No, the juice soundtrack was dope, but so was above the rim soundtrack. Yeah. But you going off for of soundtracks? I'm just throwing that in. But, you, <laughs> but anyway, the thing. Now, let me ask you: juice soundtrack or above oh, the rim soundtrack? No, no, I ain't saying soundtrack. I'm saying movie. I know, but I'm asking you right now. Oh, I don't remember either yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, they both had good soundtrack. My God, yeah, I was hey, you need to grow up. I was in jail. No, <laughs> you, I was in jail. you need to grow up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But juice yeah. changed niggas' lives. Yeah. Niggas saw juice. Now saw juice, juice lives. And I went to jail because of juice. Niggas, I was gonna say, you went to jail because of juice. That made me a DJ. I'm saying, I've seen your interviews. Niggas saw juice and either became shooters or DJs. Yeah. <laughs> but there was a My shooting God. at the corner. <laughs> DJ. Shoot, oh, shooting DJ. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Or oh, shooting ass DJ. <laughs> so, who you going with? Juice or Butter Rim? Uh, I'll go with Juice. And yeah, you going with Juice. I said Juice. juice. Okay, juice. all right. You got to come with some harder ones. All right. Yeah, this, this, this is my engineer who did that. <laughs> he oh, Lord. He Googled he it. Out there. He Googled Self it. Destru- Self destruction or all in the same game? Same game. Self destruction was the first one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the so OG. Was I'm everybody gonna, on I'm set for that? Y'all were, everybody was there when you no. did the video? We 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 were on you tour parts? when they shot that video. So wow. everybody else, you know, they shot around Nickerson Gardens, all, right. all that shit in Watts. That's in Watts. Yeah, yeah. they did all that's of that. That's um, Kendrick in the hood, right? That's, that's, uh, that's J Rock. No, um, J Rock. Yeah, that's I know the it's Bounty Hunter the Blood. Okay, yeah. yeah. Bounty Hunter. Okay. Um We were on tour, so we left the tour. We had a day off, we flew in, and we shot our part just right. that one day. Right. Um, so we didn't get to do it, but we did Arsenio Hall with everybody. Right. I don't know if y'all ever saw that. Yeah, we did, yeah. We did all in the same uh, game uh-huh. on Arsenio Hall, mm-hmm. and we were all there. That shit this was, shit was epic. Self-destruction video was the hardest video, but all I'm still Both of them game. together, I mean, yeah. I just, it was just crazy. Yeah, I want to get back into that. And that's why I, that. I, the only reason I say self-destruction because it was the original. It was the first. No, it was no, the first no absolutely. Yeah. No, I respect that. Um, I want to get back into that. And D-Nice made the beat. Right. Mm. Um, Kanye or Pharrell? Pharrell. Kanye. Okay. Okay. KRS One or Kane? Ooh, you making it difficult. Take a shot. You got. You got. You got a little left. Let me think about that. Let me think about that for a minute. Come on, let's oh, take no. a shot. He put his rolly back on. <laughs> oh, I gotta take. Um, a, I gotta take a piss. I'm gonna see how it is. KRS One or Kane, I am going to say, do I want to say, that's tough, wait, let me answer, oh, I'm out, I got yeah, All right, we saving your shot though, I'm trying to think of the reasons why, because I know you're going to ask me, let me go with Kane. Why? Uh, Kane. You said you toured with him. Obviously, so he's a good friend of mine. Uh-huh. But I'll say this: Karis One's catalog is greater, right? But to me, you know, I judge I judge MCs mm. on when they when they came on the scene. Did they change? Did they change MC? And did they change right. the game? Like right. like. When, or you know, did something change? Mm-hmm. 
right? You know, when Rakim came on, nobody, he it shifted with yeah, Rakim. Shifted, right. um, he made these albums, intellectual words, and he didn't curse. Kane, when he was peaking and when he came in, yeah. he shifted it. Yeah. He I made remember. everyone wear flat tops. Not just not just with the with the style, but the style and just the way that he was kicking it. And you don't I think Karis won did? I think Karis won. Karis won. No, 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 nobody wanted to but, dress like Karis won. But, 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 no, no, we're not talking about dressing, bro. Here's what I'm saying. Look, but, we we, we but, follow this movement, but no, fashionable, man. no one wants to dress like Karis won. You pageant so, people. There's a nigga in the world that said, I want to dress like Chris. So, like, no, I'm sorry. I love Karis. So here's the thing. You know, we was getting ready for this. I was doing push-ups, thinking mm-hmm. about what he's going to ask me. Uh-huh. Right? And I'm just saying, like, Kane... Karis one and rock him are my three favorite rappers. Mm. So a, yep. today I'm gonna say Kane. Tomorrow I might say Karis one. Mm. Tomorrow I might How say the next day I might say rock him. Mm. I'm only saying Kane because I just wanted to make that point about mm. MCs that shift. I'm talking about the way they rhyme. Right. Karis one, he's in a class by himself. Mm. Like I can't even explain it. Yeah, me neither. It's just yeah, you know, a teacher. he's a teacher. Yeah, criminal minded, just everything. Like I remember. Karis one did a show in Berkeley in the Bay Area, right? And we mm-hmm. were we were opening for him. Right. And then so it got back to me. He's like, you know, and then Karis one. Uh, somebody told him that we were excited to do a show with him or whatever. You weren't. No, that we were. You were. Oh. It's like you know, there's your underground. They're excited to meet you, and do the show with Did you. Did I bring him a tennis ball? And he said, yeah, "Relax." And he said, <laughs> "He said they should be." Cocky is a motherfucker. Because the Karis one. He's a cocky and, motherfucker. And so when when they came back and said, "I think Karis one said they should be," right. and I said, "We are." Right. Like right, yeah. you expect Karis one right. to say that. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they said when Karis was battling Kane. I mean, excuse me. McKay, no, no. McKayrest was on the Zoom call because they just did a, a battle with Kane. <coughs> Kane uh, recommended that they bring up and do some freestyles because Kane felt like, um, you know, like his catalog didn't stretch that long. So Karis one says, so, so wait a minute. Yeah, you can't well, Like, why, why, why do we want to freestyle? Like, I just want to keep playing records. And Kane was like, you know, so he admitted to it. And they said that Karis one said, well, whatever, do whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm the greatest in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that. Two Timberlands. Yeah, we see Karis one back on Dream Team. Karis one. Right, right, right. 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 So you gotta, you gotta love that. So yeah, yeah, you're making me change my mind a little bit. Yeah. Karis nah, one they're is. They're both, they're both icons. Yeah. In he, right. And it was great to see everybody geek out. Like everybody. And, was and I, I definitively out, did really? not pick pick anybody when I watched the battle. I was definitely. Yeah. You just enjoyed it. Well, I said that that was like a draw. You enjoyed it. I didn't like. Did you watch the E40 too short one? Absolutely. Did you, what'd you think? Didn't know a lot of the songs because they started when they started getting to that yay area shit. Yeah, I, I ain't know a lot of it, but I love. I, come on, I'm, I'm, that's my number one market on the West Coast. Is, but is, is Yada he, Man? He, he, but you're yay area. Though. I'm a yay area. I was, I was, I was telling things uh, earlier like that. Uh, what? What? Yeah, that damn near yeah, started that, that the hype movement. One, yeah, that was number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, real, because yeah, you know when that shit come on, niggas start jumping on cars and stomping. I was. How many people got? How many say? How many people got killed off of that? That was the hot shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this took but, a left turn. But let me, uh, look, you know what? Let me, let me make sure we get into the, the LA it's a killing and people? Oakland. No, no, no. Nah, it was a killing uh, LA and Oakland. We was in Philly. Because I'm going to tell you, when after, you know, after Big passed away, Rest we were nervous going song? to the West Coast. We didn't feel comfortable. Oh, we didn't really want to go to the club. We didn't want to go to the after parties. We wanted to perform and we wanted to leave. And we were also, it was also different about the gangbang culture. Like, we was just, we just didn't adapt to that. But you know it wasn't no gangs in the Bay. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You already finished my sentence. <laughs> but when we went to the Bay, that was like, to come up and be like, hey, B, you, you want this bitch? You're like, what? Like, nigga just offer you a girl. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, and then they, they, just, they just was players. And like, and then they were the going. Hustlers. And it was like the first time where Different. like people wanted to hang with us, but they brought their own bottles. Like, like if you hung with us at the time, like we brought the bottles, and they, these dudes was getting money. And like, yeah, we like, like we give you the bottles. I'm gonna like, give it to the whole mean? Bay Area. The Bay Area is first West Coast period town to embrace me, right. me per- yeah, personally. Yeah, oh man, personally. Um, okay. MC Light or Queen Latifah? Take a shot. Latifah. That was easy. I'm gonna go. Call it a bitch. 
I kind of like Light's first album. But wait. Let's go with the label, mate. Queen of C. Queen of yeah. Okay, cool. Master Ace or Mac 10? Mm. The Chicken Hawk. <laughs> Mac 10. That's Mac 10 for those who don't know. Oh, yeah, we did. Chicken know. Hawk, man. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that's a that's a good one, cause Master Ace, the symphony, and yeah, you know no. what I mean. Yeah. Even him in the biz was it rhyming with the biz? Mm-hmm. You know, I saw him, I saw him perform that at, at yes. the new music seminar. It's like right. he's reinvented himself a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I I I would say, just on career wise and mm-hmm. the way that he did it. Mm-hmm. If we're just talking about musically, mm-hmm. let's go with Master Ace. Mm-hmm. But Mac 10 also became a show promoter. Absolutely, yeah. No, Mac 10 is. Mac 10 do his yeah. thing, and Mac 10 does movies. That sounds movies. like both, sir. Huh? You gotta take a shot. That sounds like both, yeah. You, you just said both. Did, did I say both? both? Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you said both. He was letting you go. We was letting you go. I can only say one. That's how y'all get niggas. Okay. Yeah. We was letting you. He was letting you go, but then you kept going. Yeah. I should have just shut up when I no, had to go. No, 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 I got my thing. Hey, take you want you want to join him? You gotta let your man go by himself. Yeah, Come yeah, on, man. It's a like digital that. underground thing. Du, you goddamn it. Let's do it, goddamn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Wait though, how did he think of Master Ace and Mac Ten? That's that's a good one. That was okay, a good one. I got another good. Call one. Call me out Let's there. Go. Yeah, take your shots first, of course. Ah, we're going in. We're going in. Yeah. Okay, y'all ready? Mm. This is a very good one. Snoop Dogg. It's gonna be Snoop already. No. Or Busta Rhyme. Wow. You, I just drank my shot. I drank my yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. You can drink, take it. I just drank my <laughs> shot. It's okay. It's called, it's called Drink Yo, Champs. Those two niggas are the two illest niggas ever, ever, ever from their respective coasts. Yes. So that's that. That sounds oh. like you're taking a shot, sir. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't gotta take a, you gotta pour Yo, it crazy. You, you can pour it I was telling this nigga all day I'm only drinking shots. Give me a No, it's okay, but this is just the game. It's the game. Come on. That's how we here. We're here. Yeah. Watermelon. Yeah, that's my favorite, by the way. There's, no, there's no choice. Dog how do you make that choice? Or Busta Rhymes. That's like saying. Yeah, this, it's a shot. It's a shot. It's a shot. Yeah. It's a shot. Yeah. That, 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 that was the. You ain't got to take a crazy was, shot. That was the only yeah. clear yeah. no answer. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because like, I, I, I could. Me neither. I can't answer. I could, I, could, I, could lean, I could lean one way or another for Dre now, this quick. One, I just decided uh, not to answer. Finish. But this one, I'm super. Not sure what you're gonna say, but I'm gonna wait for you to take a shot because that's the way the game goes. Man, okay. Buster. Spice One or Mac Dre? Spice One. Spice. Spice One is my homie. The East by the Bay way, gangster. I haven't seen you in a long time. You might, you might. Oh, you gotta get Spice on. I just was talking. Yeah, yeah. Holla at me. Can we, can we get Spice One yeah, on the yeah, show? That's my dude. Like that's my. I dude. just smoked the pizza. Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah, man, telling yeah, 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 yeah. One of the greatest moments ever was that nigga Nas when he did that song, uh, the, the, whatever the rap like autobiography song, and he was uh-huh. like, we, we, nigga, when you have a son, right. when he's ten year ten years old, make him listen to Spice, Spice One. I was like, Nas, that's so hard. So we assume Virgos, nigga. I am going Virgo. to go because um, you're a Virgo. You said yo. Not only am I a Virgo. I'm oh, Virgo. Digital Underground is Virgo. I'm a Virgo. You a Virgo? Money too? needs a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. Shot, he's a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. You a Virgo? Yeah, I'm a Virgo. Please Max a Virgo. Sophia's a Virgo. Oh shit, Virgo game. There's like nine Talk Virgos in Digital nine. Underground. Oh, hey, yo. Oh my God. Hey, oh my God. Hey, no hey, one day. No one day. Down, put it down, put it down. Yeah. And I was gonna say, the man Kanye was over here beautifully talking about the Gemini's. It's a, right. it's a thing between the Gemini's and the Virgos. Yeah, because he did. My wife say, is a Gemini. Because he did say his favorite rapper was a Virgo. Yes, he Nas. did. Yeah, he did, he say, did say that. that. Salute. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but he had a lot of favorite rappers though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. Virgo, Virgo. So the answer to that question, although Spice One is a great friend. Okay. I'm gonna say just for influence, influence right. purposes. Right. Uh, Mac Dre, of course. Uh, yo, let me tell you. I, th- all right, and I said, I'll, this is crazy. This is the last question. <laughs> the day Mac Dre died, okay. I'm in a club. The club has no <laughs> stage. Okay. You could see everyone in there balling. Like, you could see what, what he. What meant. city were you in? This is the, the Bay Area, somewhere. Somewhere oh, he was in, in the, the Bay. Bay. I'm in the Bay. This is the day he died. I'm talking about. He might have, I, I, I'm spitballing, I'm not giving you the exact times, but let's right. just say it's a couple of hours, or maybe a, even a day before. Maybe he died that night, and I had right. to show the, the next day after. And I didn't know, I knew how Bay Area motherfuckers gave it up, but I didn't know, no. 
on the oh, night man. of the hero dying. So I'm on, there's no stage. I'm on the bar. I'm on top of the bar, I gotta do my five or six songs. It's like an after party or something. Yeah, yeah. Every dude in the club just came up to me, it was just like, and it just was in my face, but it was love. Yeah. But it was like, I had to, they was like, yo, listen. They said to me like, yo, this is the day, this, this is Mac Dre day. Yeah. This is how they act. Yeah. Just don't move. Like, so people, like, just don't, like, don't be shook. So people was like, what's up, Lord? Yeah. And they all in my face, I'm like, oh, shit. So then after a while, I'll just start doing it with them. I'm like, yeah. like, yeah, you got that, like, oh, shit. I party, I drink with these motherfuckers hey, all Drake to this night. day, though. But. I want to say back to it, then I want to get into the, the differences between LA and the Bay Area. But okay. I had never seen an underground rapper because obviously I knew littles about Mac Dre, but after he passed. He was about to blow right before he, he passed. Right, that was right, the thing about it. Right, right, right. He was and just. After, I went and I did my research after. go back. And I was like, wow. Was like but I had never, other than 50, I had never seen an underground rapper have his city on lock mm. the way he had it on lock. Oh, man. Can you, can you, you describe that for people who've never been to the Bay Area? If you don't, like, like Mac Dre is a religion right. in wow. the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. Wow. It is. That's a fact. Wow. And, you know, shout out to, to Ray Love. You know, they got yes. the, just like we got the, the Shock G Golden Nail. Mm-hmm. You know, they got the Mac Dre beard that's doing very well. Mm-hmm. Out we need some way. of those over here. Come yeah, on. Mac Dre is, you know, he's, he's, okay, so, Anybody that's not from the Bay, you've heard of, like you said, the hyphen movement. Right. Motherfuckers doing that. Right, right. So, I love it, by the so way. you know, there was the hyphen movement and the way that you act hyphy. Right. The hyphy movement was everybody emulating Mac Dre. Uh, so you say yeah. the way that someone acts hyphy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, it's like the whole, just the. He is I can't hyphy. even I can't even explain it. Right. Yeah. But Mac Dre was just Mac Dre. Right. I don't, it, like, okay, only thing that I could. Could maybe help you explain that, that maybe seem like it. You, if you remember back in the day, and I can only imagine, but it felt like when Slick Rick came in the building, he was a Slick Rick. Right, right. right and right. He, it was only a Slick Rick. Mm-hmm. Right, the An way that he, of the way he, that he right. moved, and he right. was just, he was everything that New York Bronx, whatever that was supposed to be, right. it was Slick Rick. Right. That's what Mac Drake was mm. for us. And he, he, and he, was, he was really it. Right. Everything that he, you know, and remember, he went and he did, what, eight years mm-hmm. on some shit and he, he never said nothing. Wow. And, and he came out, and you, you think about it, he come out and he's, you know, his whole crew was bank robbers and killers right. and whatever. You think right. he gonna come out and start doing the hard shit? Right. He came out partying Clowning. and right. clowning Clowning. and pimping bitches and popping right. pills and everything else. And he right. just, he, wanted, he was having fun. Right. And he Yo, was like, he was like, I'm having fun, but I'll kill you. Yo, that. <laughs> Yo, for everybody Get listening, the, the Genie in the Lamp album. That's oh, the man. album. Fuck right. with the Genie. To Mac, okay. If you want to get right to it, Mac Dre, it's not my job. Genie in the Lamp. Right. That's the album. It's not my job. Right. Woo! Right. It seems like y'all could just go platinum just staying in the in bay. bay. Oh, yeah, man. Is, is, is that is the? Is, it is, but you know, and I, and, I, and 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 I know this is the the sob story of every area. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, you have your culture, whether it's Miami, the Bay, or whatever, right. but then radio doesn't support it. Right. They just play what... Yeah, what, what the masses. What the masses, yeah. Yeah. whatever. Um, in the Bay Area, we kind of, for a long time, we superseded that because we had a sound, mm-hmm. we had a way, and so we didn't really get it Bless from you. the radio. It seemed like the Bay led the... The underground, well, like independent. We started movement. the independent movement, right? For so, real. So, so, so um, uh, we can get back to the independent. Well, movement. I mean, I mean, let, let me let me let me correct right. that okay. because hip hop started as an independent. Right, movement. right. But and once majors got involved, in the Bay in current times, the Bay, like, right, right, you know right, what I right. mean? Like cats that came up and we made right. our, oh, we did it ourselves, made our own money. Was it was y'all who made up um, um, selling out the Trump? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty yeah, much, yeah. right? And who, who, and who was that? Then Master P makes his chops out of out of the bay. Huh? Right? Yeah, but Master, Master P, P. No, but Master P bit off of somebody. No, Master but he P. made his chops in, but in he, the bay. Yeah, but he yeah, came yeah. out the Bay Area. Yeah. yeah but no, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is he was following somebody else who was doing that same. Um, but um, wasn't his was family it? that owned the the record store in the he Bay? He did. Right. Richmond, Richmond, he Richmond, was in Richmond, Richmond. But I'm, right. I'm saying, 
Master P was living in the Bay. He he saw the right. That's man. what he that's where the, he got the idea got the to be independent. He got like the that. game. Okay, so who was right. out there being independent prior to him? Got the game from E forty. E forty. I be the jet. Really, really too short. Too short was, was the first. Yeah. You know and let me add this. Too short was signed a job. That was a before big thing that. Later. No, but got, before that, he got before his deal. Before that, yeah, he, he was on. You know, he had um, uh -huh. um, what was it? Uh, uh, damn it! I forget the name of it. He had his own. They had their own label. Mm. So by the time Jive came, it was already, it was already rocking. Mm. Um, um, Young Black Brother, Kyrie mm. and them, they had mm. Mac Mall, mm. and he he did the first Mac Dre mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. MC Hammer. Oh, busted, MC, busted I don't records. think it's enough credit. MC busted Hammer, man, busted by Records was an independent label. Didn't um, yeah. Game go through somebody from the um, West Coast? JT the Bigger Figure. Oh, that's from the um, Bay Area, from the Bay too. Area. Right? JT okay. the Bigger yeah. Figure. Uh -huh. I mean, shit. Shout uh, out to Hieroglyphics, too. Man. Paris. All right. Okay. Yeah. You know, Hiro. Yeah. You know, Hiro got signed, but they had a movement. No, Hiro, and they still got a movement. Had, oh, based yo, on that. Yeah. That momentum is still What's the new dudes that's popping in the Bay right now? Um, Lil Mikey, what up? To, to new, new Lil Mikey TMB. Yeah. Lil Mikey TMB. Lil Mikey so TMB. So I gotta TMB. check him out? You gotta My check out Lil nigga. Mikey TMB. Okay. No one is is the same. Is he goes wide in the rip? Nah, nah. He 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 from DB Oakland. Okay. You know what I mean? He, so everyone from Oakland don't go swat the rip? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. And, 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 I, I, I thought you said go out with I really. Here's the thing. <laughs> you, you said go swat the rip, rip, but that was like 2014, right? Okay, okay, that's old. Come on up. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Follow right, me. Go, I'm OJ. I'm going to pull you through. I'm pull you through. I got you. No problem. No problem. We've got a driver now. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you about Lil Mikey. You know what I mean? He certified. I know Nori like this but, from the streets. Right. I'm not gonna tell you what he did. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. But you know, just just because he's a bad instance, influence. Right. You know, he and he's independent or he's signed. Independent. Okay, that's and, dope. But you know, I mean, like he in his nigga. life, you know, he's right. been I don't know shot like five times. Oh, yeah, God. Mikey's a real one. You nigga. know, came out of comas and all that right. shit. But but you know, he you know he already he's done songs with um. Still with smiling. Savage I'll see you, Mikey. And, Cast my little Mikey TMB. Right. Yeah. He, he rocking and rolling. What, what do you like more, independent or major? Right now, independent. Really? And, you know, and let me segue. Okay. You know, because that's why I'm, I'm, I'm into you. Are you familiar with the NFT space, right? Absolutely. A little. I'm, 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 right. I'm, obviously, but, I heard about it, but I'm not yeah, familiar yeah, yeah. with so, it. And so we're getting into it, though. Yeah. You have to. Uh -huh. Right? And that's, and, that's, uh -huh. and that's you reclaiming your independence mm -hmm. because you don't need. Anybody but your core fan base. You don't need the people. infrastructure right. of the industry. Yeah, yeah. you know, because like we can you know, take a picture right now. This is an NFT. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm, and, I'm, yeah. and I'm part of a company. We started an <laughs> NFT agency to help pull people through. Like you, like I don't right. know much about it. You yeah. know, show you how to get a wallet, how to set up, get a smart contract, right. and all of that. It's no, it just NFT. Like, it, it just seemed like a scam. Like how when niggas was was, was um, selling like um, waters. But it's like not. Everybody is down with <laughs> NFT. Like well, no, 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 no. Is I can go to Cheeseburger Baby right now. The chef is like, Yo, but you not everybody can NFT sell an NFT. That's what people <laughs> well, don't understand. It. Well, the, the yeah, thing, yeah, well, yeah. I always said that it, it would level out. Right. You know, it was, it, was, it was bullshit. You know, motherfuckers right. selling a right. picture of a Ciroc bottle, right. hella pixelated. Right. But <laughs> you, know, <laughs> it, it, you know, an NFT, you know, it, it, it can be it can be a digitized picture or right. or. Something physical like a collectible because we be we're, a, we're, we're doing so the new money being young hump record right. will be an NFT. Wow. But with it as an NFT, we're gonna mint it and it is it's, it has four different mixes. But we're gonna enable um, the people that are part of our community that buy the NFT to be able is is gonna be at from fifty to a hundred and some different versions right. that you could mash the record up. Boss up. Wow. Right? And <laughs> top winners can actually own the stems of the record. And yeah. you get original art, but then you own the NFT. It allows you to purchase, obviously you get the album, right? right. But to purchase anything digital on the ground that we put out after that. So, wow. you know, the whole NFT space, crypto, metaverse, you know, it's, it's gamified, right? But you said two important things that, that I think people don't understand. One, all the work that you put into to make the NFT special. Most people don't understand that. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you put said, out bullshit. Right, it's right. just like, do you want to? But you're wanna, adding. You're adding do you layers wanna, to it. Do you want to flash right. in the pan and try right. to hit them? Like and you can community. make, you can make, right. you can make a million dollars right now, a one-time hit, and then people buy it and, and then figure out your bullshit, or you can make three hundred thousand dollars for the next fifteen years. Right. 
And you said community, which is the other thing, is that people don't understand that NFT thing right now is still a community-based thing. It is. So you have There's to support them. buy it. You have to support them right. in order to be supported. Right. Right? So for, for me, we have um, Create NFT. That's our agency, right? Right. So for people like you guys, help you on board. Not just create artists. Create NFT? Create, yeah. Okay. CR, the number eight, right. NFT. Right. And... Yo, Humpty, you all right? I'm oh, good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm um, so look. I just was feeling cool right so look, now. I was feeling cool. It's not just about really. the, the artists that we on board, right. but it's really about bringing black and brown people into the space. Right. You know, a lot of times with anything, it's not, it's not magic or voodoo. It's just about learning how to do it. You saying, I don't know much about it. Right. Bro, I can sit down and help you set up a wallet. Right. Tell you, you know, you know, put you with a guy right. so that you understand right. everything about what you do. Right. So it's not just you putting your name on something; it's right. you having ownership and seeing it through. Because right. the last thing you want to do is leave it up to a motherfucker to count your money for you and bring it back yeah, to yeah, you. Right. But with an NFT, it's all at your fingertips to own and to control and the yourself. Smart wallet is non-fungible. Like, like, smart contracts. Yeah. So we, so we're doing the the. the the, the next Money Being Young Hump single is called F It Up, for Fuck It Up. Yeah. We're doing it. We, we have a single and The a, single is going to be an album, NFT. And, but yeah. we have an album. But if you get the single, if you buy the NFT, you get the album. Mm. Right? Then right after that, we're working on some new um, digital underground music as well for mm. 2022. You got Shock G versus laying around? We do. That's Ooh. what I'm saying. We're doing that shit together. And I'm sure you got music. Right now. Sure. And we got music. So, and, and, and for all people, um, um, right now, Shock G, he got a record out right now. Um, yeah, it's um, with the solo piano group. So, he re on the, on the piano, he remade To Zion by Lauryn Hill. Ooh. And it's solo piano group. It's, it's yeah, G's that's who we're talking piano. about. The nigga has a solo piano yeah, joint out right and, now. And, you know what, you know, and the official you know about, jazz um, niggas respect um, his piano work. Like mood music and, and, and um, you know about that type of music? Yeah, mood music not Joe Button mood music. No, no mood, no, no. M-O-O-D. Mood music. He had a mixtape yeah. called Mood Music. Oh, no, no, no. It's me that's lost. I don't even know. I don't know. No, 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 no. But lo-fi, lo-fi. You know what I mean? Like, it's relaxation music. So, H. Gregory, who's our producer, he has he has um his solo piano group. And, you know, it's black-owned, black artists. The only ones that's doing it. But Shock G, right now, go check it out. To Zion. It's him rocking. That's your girl? That's your, your girl? <laughs> no, that's our people's man. Oh, okay, all right, my bad. But see, yeah, we, we, we want I'm everybody like, to know. I'm like, what? She flew out Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Yo, yo, yo Kev, yo, we got some real quick. That's right. We got some. Kev, you got our it? Our show's about giving people their flowers while they're alive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And God, you got it, yeah, you got to give. We got to give you a bunch of flowers. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, what we got? Shut up. 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 Oh my God! Respect. Take that back to the to the home. Thank you, God. And and right, like I said, you know, that's beautiful. For real. Thank you, love. I'm gonna tell y'all. Y'all gotta check out that because if you really want to know, like the soul of Shock G, check out this 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 new record with Solo Piano Group because that's what he was. He was a he. He wouldn't. He couldn't walk by a piano without sitting down right. and playing it. The piano man. He was the piano it's like man. How, you see, that, was, a that was you his. See that right that there? was his. Mm. His soul came through to the to the piano. So that's what it is. And and I don't think that not just me and Young Hump mm. wouldn't be sitting here, but there's a lot of there's a lot of artists that wouldn't be around if Shock G didn't, didn't unlock. It's a huge tree that that grew from Digital Underground. I'm not even talking about just Digital Underground people. I'm talking about Shock G in the himself. industry because right. he wasn't afraid to, you know, he he brought it to, he brought something to the industry that wasn't there before. Right. That's hey, all I'm saying. Hey yo, there's an interlude called um, the the Humpty Dance Awards. You type in Digital Underground the Humpty Dance Awards, and there's an interlude that's talking about all the different songs that sampled the drums alone. From, like like old school shit. Remember, you've got to live and learn. Can you name, name, name three songs Mark, that, sampled, that sampled Digital Underground? That sampled the Humpty Dance? Who fuck you up? 
Can you name three songs that's helpful. No, you fucking so bad. Can't yeah. Trust It by Public Come Enemy. On, oh. Mama Said Knock Come You on, Out on, by man. LL Cool J. Wait, on, that was sampling. That's the Humpty it's Dance. It's all Wikipedia. He gets publishing for that. Put the mic down. Put the mic down. Oh, Sean G was getting oh, no. dope. And there was a the third one. <laughs> I mean, God damn it! Let's, let's, what's the third one? And that's all. Nah, those sampled. There has to be way more than that. Nigga, it's like those are those songs. are like like you, you look classic. Up. Um, no you classic. said you never heard the Juice soundtrack. One of mine is "Don't Be Afraid." Yeah, by Aaron Hall. Aaron Hall. Woo! That was Don't that shit. Afraid. Don't, be afraid. Don't be afraid, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> You drank Mama Juana or you drank Ciroc? No. He drank something. Yeah, Ciroc got it, baby. Got it. Oh, right. I ain't gonna say nothing wrong. I, I'm yo, just gonna fuck with the mic. Yo, this Wait. is a good beer, by the way. It is. Word. Yeah. Um, what else is... Man, there's some records that... There's some other ones, but... That's like one of the most famous hip-hop songs, though, right? That part. Like, that shit is... Nah, it is one of the... It relevates yeah, to people yeah. 20 years... Like, top, top what? Older, top 20 of 20 all years younger. known yeah. hip-hop songs? They still use it in Geico commercials. Top songs, probably. Super Bowl, all, right. all that shit. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's still be rocking. Um, it's, it's one of them ones. So, um... How many people you finger popped that I get around video? <laughs> okay. I get around video. So who got pregnant? Here is that was like that was like the first BET uncut. Here that was is like, like, I, I it was. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think that was Playboy at night. I'm gonna right throw it out there. I'm a little embarrassed. He said Playboy at night. What year did this come out? I get around video. Ninety three. A little embarrassed. 93 ish. I used to jerk off to that video. <laughs> nice. Ah, Me too, bro. I'm going it out there. <laughs> Sorry, I you the jerk off. Both y'all should be hella embarrassed. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> legendary in that song. Is it? Not, yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's, it's a two-part question. Let's just say, okay, okay, how, how, many, how, many, how many females were you messing with in that video? Because, I mean, we all had group ones. <laughs> you try to so, clean it up. How many young ladies? I'm going to answer, answer both of them. Did you get comfortable okay. with so, that night? At, well, I, I'll tell you the whole story. So, one... It was Tupac's video, right? Right. So even okay. So fun fact: the chick that's massaging when he in the hot tub, mm -hmm. that's the chick from the uh, Rex and Effects video. Yeah. Oh shit. The body. All I wanna do is zoom, yeah, zoom, yeah, zoom, yeah. zoom, and you boom, boom. So anyway, so you know when you shooting a video, you shoot, 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 then it's break. You know, thirty minute break, twenty minute break. Mm -hmm. Where'd y'all film that? In Malibu. Okay. So I'm, I'm, so I'm going to tell you So Ella? every time Yeah so every time There was a break This nigga Pac Was pulling somebody He was So he knocked off Like six bridges that day oh, oh, In the thing he was, he was He was hot He was hot He was hot Okay Shout out <laughs> But even, But, but I, I would say better I would say Almost better than that Is That house was owned By this Ethiopian woman She's in the video In the tennis court scene She white She's Ethiopian but white skinned? Black, black skin. She's brown. Brown, okay, brown, okay. brown, brown, right. brown, 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 brown. There's some Ethiopian and, now. And, 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 Not really. And yeah. they, they come, they come they're like Latinos. They're colonizers then. Yeah, they come like Latinos. Yeah, yeah. Shock, <laughs> Shock jumped on that. So Shock, he had the house owner. The Ethiopian. The house owner. House owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, but well, who did you smash? Who, who's your finger popping? So here's, so here's the thing. <laughs> who did you smash? So here's the thing. High five again. You just So we were, we were, we were. It was the best day of my life and the worst day of my life. I need to hear the story. I need to hear the story. Nah, because... Yeah. Best day we, because... Because it was one of the funnest days up to that in my life, mm. to that point. We, had, had, we just had fun that day. Victoria's Secret perfume. All it looked like a fun ass It was super fun. Over. Spice yes. One was there. Spice One was there. We Spice had fun. One. Uh -huh. Right? So I just and it remember... it felt like a digital underground video, like, like the yes. extension of... Do what you it like. Was. We, it was. A, it was a party. We forgot we were shooting a video. Right. We were doing it. Really? So I remember at the end of it, now mind you, that was the second single off Strictly for My Niggas. The first one was Holla If You Hear Me. Big Stretch yep, produced yep, that. Yep. And that was, was tanking. It was a black and white video, right? Was, that, that, that single tanked. Mm -hmm. Right? So, But it, it was in the mixtape scene. It was crazy. Yeah, but Pac was mad because right. it wasn't the album wasn't selling. Right. Now, I had told Pac before the record came out, I was like, I'm not saying it because I'm on it. I said, this should be your, your single. 
Hey, I don't know, my nigga, big stretch. Da, 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 da. You know, because Pop was loyal like that. Stretch right. was his guy, so right. that was gonna be the single. Right. When you Pop shot the video, Pop was he was blaming Interscope that the record was fucked up. That's when he went off on them, right? But it was fucked up because it was just fucked up. The mm. single wasn't wasn't moving. So I remember asking Pop, I was like, because because we had always with Digital Underground, we edited our own videos for the most part because we knew what we wanted. So I was like, Pop. Make sure you get this thing, get this thing, and get this scene or whatever. If I was like, man, fuck Interscope, da da da. At, at the end of it, I get around. Uh, uh. He's like, fuck this record. You know, he was mad. Mm. He didn't give a fuck. At the end of filming it? At the end of filming it. He I'm was like, telling, fuck this record? He was like, fuck this record. Filming a video. After we, at the end of the day of shooting, I get around. He wasn't He feeling was it. not feeling Interscope. Oh. He was just saying, fuck them. He didn't, like, he didn't, he didn't care what happened with the video. Right, right. He was just right. like, whatever. He wanted to get past everything. He just wanted to get past it. Right. And so when I, I'm leaving, I'm like, well, if this video shows half the fun that we had today, exactly. we're going to be all right. Oh, exactly. And that was that. Right. But so you back to your up. question, yes. okay. there's a lot of breezies there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, all right, cool. What are we doing tonight? <laughs> we supposed to, we supposed to, we supposed to go do it. Yeah. Right? I, I think I had like two or three. Like, okay, yeah, we're going to okay. go to, meet me at the, Whatever the club was the thing, because uh -huh. we were staying in Hollywood. Uh -huh. I'm like, all right, I'll meet you there. Go back to the hotel. About to get dressed. I was like, ah. Oh, was you know this the Nico Hotel? What hotel was One that? One of them. Okay, okay. Montreon. Montreal. Montreal. Okay, okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm it was there. in that area. Okay, cool. Where the cool people stayed. Okay, cool. It was us. Cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So. All I know is I laid down, like, okay, let me lay down for a second. Woke up, it was the morning. I was like, oh, you, you I fell asleep on the punani? I did. Oh! Lost it off. Oh! In one bet. And, and that <laughs> video, too, that video was. Yeah! That was like, 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 I, I, I feel like Nelly's tip trail bit Not, that video. Probably. I like, think like, a lot of people bit that video. You, you know yeah. what was beautiful about it was yeah. that Pac left. Not left the digital underground, but he started his own career and he came back and got you. Absolutely. Because you know that the, the, the I Get Around beat, hey. Shock made that for a digital underground. That's Tell what I'm him. saying. It felt like a digital underground record. You but we know, were yo. we were riding around with that beat for like six months. But we knew it was, a, was dope, but we were scared. To, nobody wanted to fuck it up. Right. So we was like, ah. Uh, so then, Shot gave the beat to Saphir. Big up Saphir, yeah. Sauce And no Saphir had it for the Such summer. Such an ill MC, and man. And then... One of the greatest ever. Then... Yeah. Yeah. I think Pac approached Shot and was like, yo, my, I got to turn in my album by October, da, da, da. And then Shot was like, man, this is one beat that we all got, but nobody did nothing. Take that one. That's the, that's the latest one that everybody liked. And he took that beat, and the next thing you know, he turned around and asked us to be on it. Mm. And Tupac... Shock's verse on there. Tupac wrote that verse. Oh sure. You wow. hear that, yeah. everybody? Shock wrote that verse. No, Tupac wrote that. Verse. I mean, excuse me, Tupac wrote that verse. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, Tupac. Hey, you really are Shock G right now. Hey, <laughs> but imagine that though. Go but imagine Sit up straight. You feel me? I know I got wrong words, but I'm on the point now. Why y'all do my guy like that? Imagine, He's imagine not the drink champ. Imagine Tupac sitting there. Right. Everybody in TV land. Imagine Tupac saying, I'm Shock G. Right. The one who put the satin in the panties. panties. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Tell him, man. Tell him. <laughs> you just tell him. Right? You just yeah. told him. Is this how you and Shock G hung out? Yeah. <laughs> He's like a reincarnation. Like, you don't know how much you're getting shot right now. We Virgos, man. The same. Oh, shit, Virgos? Yeah. Oh, my God. He missed the whole thing. Oh. Half of Digital Underground is, no, two thirds of Digital Underground is Virgos. You're a Virgo too? I'm a Virgo. Oh, so, no, so Virgo. Okay. Saphir is a Virgo. Gemini. Yo, see that right there, you and Pac. Yeah, but I'm a major Gemini. He drew, he's a little, little crazy, a little crazy, you know. He, I'm big, he Pac, you know what I'm saying? AFN, the realest nigga I know, so let me, I love let me, it. Let me, let, me, let me break down something for you because us coming from the East Coast, right? We always looked at California as being just one conglomerate. Right. And it wasn't until we actually got out there that we realized totally, that yeah. it's a LA, <laughs> LA is one thing in itself in its, its entirety, and then the Bay Area is a whole it's different not a planet. Planet. I was going to say a whole planet. different world. But for people that have never traveled to California, can you describe the two different and the differences? 
Well, this is what I like to explain to people. Uh, if you've never been to California, like people from the East Coast, you know, you got North Carolina, New York, Baltimore, all that shit. You can just drive through that shit in like eight hours. Mm -hmm. If you start in, or if you leave Tijuana, or if you're in San Diego, from San Diego to drive. Meaning to, closest to the border for people Closest that don't to the border is to Mexico, like right. the very bottom of, of California. You if you drive to the very top of California, it would take you 22 hours Ooh. to drive. Which you, that's, does Ooh. California border Canada? No. no. No, it's Washington after that. It's you. I don't Oregon. know. Oregon. 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 Yeah. Oregon. Right up so there on Mount Shasta. 22 hour drive. Say that again. 22 hours from the bottom of California wow. to the top to drive. So you you if you if you put wow. California on that's the crazy. East Coast, that's, crazy, that's Maine, Florida, New York, Florida. Philly, wow. Baltimore. No, but Florida, we 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 close. No, no, no. We 18 hours to get the fuck out of here. But 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 22 hours. Yeah. I don't no, know. 22 hours, but we 18. And and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm being. But we have been. So I'm being conservative because I think you want to Google it. Somebody Shut should up. Google it. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being conservative. But you understand what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's a long state. So LA in, in the Bay is now, with how we drive, seven hours, right? LA to the Bay. LA to the Bay, six, seven hours, depending on uh -huh. how you drive. Mm -hmm. If you leave in the valley, it could be six. I've right. done it in five. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, I always tell people the Bay has more in common with Chicago than it does with LA. Wow, mm. we just, it's just a, it's not the same. But what do what do they have in common with Chicago? Just our, our, it's just a different vibe. Right. Like like I don't know, I can't explain it. Like we don't dress like that. We don't have their same culture. Right. It's just different. Very different. So when a person from LA comes and they and they banging, they they got all blue on and they got w w w what is the reaction from a person that's from uh, do, do, is they accepting that or in the bay? Yeah. Well, like, who are you banging on? Like, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Because no, like, no, so, there's all no game to the, bang on. The Latinos or the Norteños. Well, 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 yeah, we do have the, Nor we have the yeah. Norteños and the Serenos. So there's games yeah. out there. And see, off rip, everybody in, in Bay calls themselves blood. In San Francisco and blood. Sacramento. Right. Right. They be like, what up, blood? What up, blood? And they on their base shit like blood. So my Bay niggas come to L.A. and they be like, blood, blood, blood. And other niggas be like, what'd you say? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's I had a problem with that when I first started going to LA. Yeah, tell them because it was in my above the law. It was in it was in my 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 vocabulary because we just say blood like young blood. And you you would say that to a crip? I would just say it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It didn't mean anything. It was like saying brother. It's just like what up? Like we'll say what's up blood? What's up blood? What's up blood? Let me get that blood cards in the same sentence. That's in the Donald Goins book. They said that y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Old school black shit. So it took me yeah. First time going to LA and I can just see your face. Yeah, I was in fucking. Uh, <laughs> hey, my nigga, you know where you at, my nigga? You know where you at? Nah, where you are. I was in. Um, so this is like '86ish. I, I came down to LA. This from, is real gangbanging. Yeah, this yeah, this real yeah. Yeah, this colors. Is, yeah, this is before Digital Underground. Right, right, right. I'm out there. My cousin was getting married mm -hmm. out there, and I went to Slauson Swap Meet. Oh, yeah. Right, so and, and my guy, he was from Oakland, but he had moved to LA. It's the crack and era, he, and he took Heavy. me out there. And you know, you used to get the, the sweatsuits made, but it was um, and and you could buy the gold, get your name plate, all that yeah. shit. And it was always like the Asian Vietnamese mm -hmm. motherfuckers that was selling this shit. Mm -hmm. So I go and I tell them to put put money B on on my shit, mm -hmm. and you walk around the mall, you buy it, then you go back. So when I'm bartering with the guy, like getting the, the price that I want. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh -huh. And so when I when I go pick it up, he's like, you tell your friends. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, you make sure you tell your friends I got you a deal. I say, all right, blood, I told you I was going to do it. <laughs> I said it loud, though. Right. And I'm, I'm, I got a tall can. I'm in there just not even tripping. My uh, friend was like, hey, no. We at the Slauson? He said at the Slauson? At the Slauson. Yeah. That's, 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 like, that's, that's, that's the 60s. That's yeah, the yeah, bad yeah. part. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And my friend was like, hey, man, <laughs> we should leave now. Right. <laughs> I was like, why? Yeah, what? Never told me the story. Never told me the story. <laughs> Everybody was frozen in the motherfucker. Because <laughs> they didn't hear that. They never heard anybody use that. Oh, man. Uh, I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's go. Uh, oh, but nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. By the grace of God. But then it happened to me like one or two other times. So <laughs> then you fast forward to 1990, 91. Remember I told you we came from, we came from out of the NWA uh -huh. camp. So... I, I just happened to be sliding through LA. Atron had a house down there. And he's like, oh yeah, uh, Easy wants you to come to this video. You got a new group, Above the Law. 
and I had met them before. Mm-hmm. He's like, come by the video shoot. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, and yeah, above yeah. the law, which is above the law. Legendary. Yeah, they were shooting murder rap. Yeah. Now I got a murder rap. Woo. They were shooting that video that mm-hmm. day, and they was like, they want you to come by. And you know, I had to self evaluate because I was like, wait a minute. I think I say blood too much because I don't. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew. Easy was from some crip shit, but I don't know what everybody else is, and I know that it was just in my vocabulary at the time. That's just how I talked. So I was like, I'm not gonna be down, be on set, and some. Like, you know, if you're there, yeah. one of your other guys right. that want to get points with you, right. he shouldn't have said it. Yeah, yeah, like, what's up, Lyle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, ah, I'll wait this one out. Right. Because I, I didn't want to uh, fuck it up. Yeah, be around there uh, with my vocabulary. But but I, I love how you slipped. How, how, I, never I love met how you e- slipped. Slipped like you know an Easy e like how was it? I, I've never met Easy E either. So I never met Rest in peace Eazy. to Easy. So how how was it? Easy was a character. Right. He was he was a, he was short too, right? Just slightly taller. Than short in okay. stature, but homie was. Yeah, but he was he was a he was a he was a he was, he was a, a beast. Funny dude. Right. And he was a giving dude right. too. He was hardcore as well. Seemed like a good person. I mean, he from was. Afar, I don't he, know. he 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 really did want to help a lot of people. And he did help a lot of people. Right. He was a good dude, but he was he was funny. Always had jokes. Mm-hmm. Like I would always tell people, me and me and Pac in a room, all we did was talk about each other's mother and clown, mm-hmm. and just that was cool at the time. Talk shit. Yeah, yeah. Mother yeah. jokes ain't cool no more. Back in the yeah, back, back in the nineties, yeah, 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 yeah. a little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we used to do that shit. Mm-hmm. Now niggas are sensitive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, did, did Pac ever meet Easy? Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's like, tell that story. Tell that story. Okay, yeah, tell yeah that story. please tell that story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, please. Go All ahead. right, so, Pop, remember I said we came from then? So we knew NWA. Uh-huh. So Pop knew NWA, but we did the song with Above the Law called Call It What You Want. You know that song. Mm-hmm. And we were doing a show at, I don't know if you remember the R&B. There was, you know, you remember you had the Gavin magazine, the yep. college radio magazines. Yeah, yeah. There was an R&B something. Anyway, they, they, they all had the conventions. Right. So it was a convention in L.A. And we're performing there. And we're in the elevator. So this is right around the time that um, Easy and Dre are they're breaking up. Mm-hmm. It's the death row shit mm-hmm. happening. Okay. Right? And so it's, it's a little tense because, you know, you don't know who you're going to run into. Me, I'm from Oakland. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Right. I'm just like, whatever. I'm out here to do a show. But we in the elevator coming down, and it, the conversation comes up. It's me, um, Easy E, Tupac, Hutch, uh, Gomac. This is above the law. Right. Chaos. <clears throat> and he's like, yeah, you know, motherfuckers, da da da. Easy's like, yeah, these niggas want to pull up, da 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 da. And so he pulls out his gun, right? This is easy. Easy. Right. He's like, yeah, niggas. You know what I mean? He pulled out his gun. When you, when you talk about niggas want to pull up, you talking about death row? Or you talking about yeah, death row yeah, yeah. or them niggas? Like yeah. whoever they was. Me, I don't even know who he's talking about. I'm just like, <laughs> what? Right. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, I got my shit. This nigga too. Fox. Yeah, I got my shit too. I was like, nigga, you don't even know who he talking about. <laughs> so in retrospect, Tupac might have dumped on death row. That's the funny part about it. Wow. So, so listen. So listen. So this is the thing. Wow. The elevator wow. door. The wow. elevator door opens. We walk out. This nigga Warren G is walking past, and he see Easy, and he see now. Now pe- this is before pe- Warren G's Warren G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If before, before, if people don't know, Warren G. Before Dre, because they're they're half brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before Dre even accepted, I don't even know. Let me change that. Before they got back together, or they got together and did the music, Warren G was real tight with Above the Law. Like they were doing. Like music he was together. on the ruthless side. You're saying, kind of. Yeah, he was with them. Right. Wow. You know, they was they was they was rocking. They was working. They was working. They were working together. Right. So when all that shit happened, now Above the Law and Warren G see each other. Whatever that thing is that they do, and it was the first time that I ever heard heard somebody go. He said. Some this Long Beach, oh. and I had never heard nobody say this and then something else after that, <laughs> right? So I was like, "What is it?" Like, I started, set, like claiming sex. Yeah, I had never heard that. I was, right. I, that's a, I was like, "What is? What is he talking about?" Right? And but they was all 
ice grill and they was mad and, and it was just some shit. But the ironic thing about it is, Pac ends up on death row. With wow, him. that is crazy. But he was ready yeah. to shoot. Them. Wow. wow. That's over crazy. over yeah. some shit he didn't even know about. Right, he was just he was easy. easy. He, was he, was with. He, was, he was fucking with easy. Yeah, I got well, mine. Show too. you kind of Pac's mentality. He's like, I'm with you, let's go. Well, here's the thing Tupac was raised to be a warrior. So he just had a warrior mentality. Right. He always needed a battle to fight. Right. So he was ready to battle. So he could meet you. If y'all walked out together, he was going to fight with you. Right. He might not even know you well, right. but he's just like, right. what, you know, if he walk out side by side with you, then you... Like the incident with the cops when he saw a homie was getting pulled over or whatever. Yeah, when he shot the cops. Yeah, that was in Atlanta, right? That was yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but you know what I mean? So right. this nigga, easy pulling out guns, this nigga pop pulling out shit, ready to do whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what, right. but it's death row. It's death row ironic. That's like, crazy. So let me ask you, where, where was you at when you got the news that Pop was fatally killed? When he died. When he died, yeah. Uh, I was in Oakland, and... It was back. Remember the uh, Skytel two-way pages? Yeah, yeah. I had one of those, and I just kept getting messages. Alerts. Alerts. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. A bunch of them. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? You know. And back then, you had to go to, to the to the to the to the, to the payphone right. to call that shit back. And I was like, the fuck. And it wasn't until my mom hit me right. and some. Click. Because we didn't have Twitter back then, so you couldn't confirm it. Like it was just pr- pretty much rumors when they was hitting you. Yeah, well, right? when it was all happening, I didn't even hear. There, I wasn't even. I didn't hear anything. I wow. just kept getting pages, and then my mom hit me, and then I had to get emotional. Right. So I had to when I called my mother, mm-hmm. and she was the one that told me. Mm-hmm. And it was. And she, she had got the information? She knew. Okay. She knew he got shot or she knew he passed away? Well, he had already got shot. He was in the hospital. Okay. She knew that he uh, passed. Uh, right. Uh, and and you you had to spoke to him how long at that time? Since the last time I seen him in the club. And that's when he was with Digital or that's he's making his trash? No, that's when he, no, that's solo before he went to jail, solo. right? No, it was after. He was, it was after All Eyes on Me. Okay. okay so, so... If he passed in September, mm-hmm. I had seen him that July. Right, he did pass in September. the club. He was in the club yeah. in, at the House of Blues in L.A. Wow, that July. Did you? Because we did. Did you? Sorry, did you ever look from a distance and think, worry for him? Oh, all the time. We all were. Even like you know, I, I, I tell you even Hutch from Brother Law, he would call me from L.A. He's like, bro, your, your boy out here wilding out, and I was like, ah. Because for lack of a better term, like you were saying, the Bay Area, don't gangbang. Nah. So for him to go from one extreme, you know what I'm saying, to go to a whole totally different extreme, mm-hmm. that had to be extreme, I imagine, because it wasn't like he was starting out getting jumped in or anything like that. He started he went to the top. Yeah, he went from, you know, Bay Area kid or uh, teenager to grown man. And I don't know if he ever claimed blood. I know he it seemed like he wore red neck of uh, red um, bandanas yeah, yeah, a little yeah. more than he than he wore, but but that had to be like a, a shocker because like I said, like that's the one thing that stood out to me in the bay was there was no gang banging in the bay. So for him to go from that, it's it's, it's just like I, I'm sorry, I might be a little bit all over the place. But the other day I was walking around, right? Okay. And I had my headphones on. And Tupac songs came back to back. And I said this before on the show. Mm. One of the songs was Ain't Nothing Like the Old School, Ooh. where he's breaking down New Easy York Mo City. They got Richie Rich. Where he's Mo breaking B. down New York City in a way that you have to really be from New York City to appreciate this record. Then, guess what record comes on after that? California, California love. And I Talk about it. <laughs> like, when like, he's home, like, <clears throat> there's this other song we talk about the Mexicans selling oranges on the highway. And it's just like, I've never seen that anywhere else but California. <laughs> to, to live and die in LA. So. But, but, but he experienced it all. Like, I remember, right. you know, one time I went to New York and, and Pop took me to, uh, what was it? 
175th in Washington. That's Washington what Heights? Yeah, Washington yeah. Heights okay. up there. Mm. His cousin, you know, Shaka Zulu, right? right? Uh -huh. Shaka yeah. Zulu was standing there. That's uh -huh. his cousin. You know okay. that, right? What's Shaka Zulu? Ludacris um, manager. Okay, yeah, really? That's Pac's cousin. That's Pac's cousin. cousin. Holy moly, I didn't know that. So I met Shaka when he was living. Oh, I thought Shaka in... was half French. Nah. All right, like, cool. That's what he going to say. He might be <laughs> yeah, right, right, in another man. life. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, I'm saying, but, you know, Shaka was, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Tupac was, was very proud of his New York roots. Right. So he never shied away from it or... Dispelled it or tried to ignore it. No, he did. He did not. Yeah. No, he didn't. He yeah. he just said it was like where he was at. So so let me let me let me let me further explain. Okay. It's because like he left. This. I love this conversation. He left. He left the Bay uh -huh. and he went to L. A. And like you said, all this right. live and die in L. A. Right. And niggas in the Bay was mad. Like oh, that's the, hottest I've never heard this. See, I've never heard this. Niggas see? like this nigga going down to L. A. And acting right. like. Yeah. What are you talking about? Right. Because it was it's two different cultures, right? Right, yeah. And I'm just like, bro, you can't nobody can can claim Tupac like that. Why? Because he was he, he grew up everywhere not having anything and he was shuttled around his entire life. Wow. He had to go Man, he started in the Bronx to living with cousins and aunties throughout New York, then to right. Baltimore, got shipped out to Marin City, right. then he came to Oakland. Right. He, he, does, he didn't owe any of those places anything. Right. And so yeah. he only, he spoke about where he was because he was that emotional about wh wherever he was at and whatever he was dealing with. I like that right. So, right. you know, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, when I first, to live, I'm, it hit me a little bit. Right. But then right. I thought about it, I was like, nah, whatever. I wanna and to act. us, and to us, hold on for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To us, when you when they say LA, we're so stupid from the East Coast. We thinking they talking about the Bay Area. Nah. We like, cause you know, nah. to us it's all the niggas, same. These niggas in the Bay still mad. Yeah, I could imagine. Right. So yeah. think about that. So if he would have said to live and die in California, it would have been something different. And an, and another thing, because that's know. including the bay, correct? Well, he made California love, but yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. Right. And another thing to add, a lot of people don't know is when he was filming all those movies in L.A., he was living in L.A. Uh -huh. So a lot of niggas perceived it like he joined Death Row. Now we live in L.A., but he right. was living in L.A. in them years. Yeah, he moved to L.A. He movies. moved to L.A. Right. You know what I mean? He moved to L.A. He was the first one. He moved to L.A. like '93, like yeah. right. Like when when um, when we did I Get Around, he was already living in L.A. Because when when we recorded that song, he sent the two inch reels up, and that's why he wrote that's why he wrote shot. Well, he wrote verses for me and Shock in case we didn't have time. He just wanted us on the song. That's great. I just man. didn't. That's how Pop was. He just wanted to get it done. Right. So he wanted to make it as easy as possible. Right. Shock just happened to use the verse. I didn't use the verse that he wrote for me. Right. But. He was already living in LA, so he was living down there right. for a while. But it was because was he trying to do his Hollywood career? He was doing movies. Right. He, he was he was getting money. You know, right, right. his offers were poetic justice. His offers, Lock, was it? Was it? I just was watched more gang related. His though. offers drew him. You know, his business drew him mm -hmm. to be there. Mm -hmm. Let me so, ask you a serious question. No. Do you think if he <laughs> <laughs> do you think, <laughs> you think if he didn't go to death row, would he still be alive? Uh, mm, wow. mm. it's hard to say. I mean, yeah. if you would ask me, well, this is what I'd say about that. Just your I'd say that 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 environment didn't help him. Mm. Okay. Right, and so, but I'll also add this. I remember when when. Atron was first talking about signing Tupac, right? Mm -hmm. So, mind you, this is maybe 89 ish, 90, whatever it was, or maybe he was already signed, but we were on a plane and he was like, So, what you think about Pop? You think he, you know, you think I got, you think we got something? And jokingly, mind you, this is 89, 90, I said jokingly, I said, yeah, if he stay alive long enough. Wow. I'll never forget saying that. I said that. Wow. Because he was a wild nigga. Wow. So maybe if it didn't happen that way, I can't say that it wouldn't happen another way. I can't, we don't know. Right. Like, because I don't know. 
if, right. if that didn't happen, he gets into a domestic dispute. Right. And somebody shoots him. Right. Not he, even his he fault. Was gonna or be he gets into it with, with a cop. Like you said, right. and he gets... It could have been a different kind of on. He would have been on. He was, he was pushing. He was just on. Right. He was pushing. Right. right? And, and he, but, always, he always spoke about his life. He would. He would talk about things and, and then... Like, you know, because he used to like talk about going, knowing. He would make records about going to jail before he went to jail. And wow. then he made records about getting shot. And then he started making killed. records about getting killed. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, stop making them records. You feel me? You, yeah. you, 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 I've always felt that with our artistry, you speak you things right. Yeah, you write. Right, yeah, you're like right. so many. Definitely, like, you I'm writing into Rick your Ross existence. It's about. like you're it's like you're attracting you know, it. You're attracting so it's like it. it's right. kind of like you know I say like Cypress Hill. They smoke weed. They always talk about smoking yeah. weed. So now everywhere they go, people give them weed. weed. Yeah. Right. And, Tell them how. And b -Row has a lucrative weed Absolutely, business, right. which I'm into. We'll right, talk about right, that. Right, right. Hey, tell them about how you had to get him the weed. He wasn't cool if he didn't have his weed. Tell them that. Oh, my God. Uh, 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 <laughs> so, uh, I mean, y'all know Pac smoke, yeah, yeah. right? I never met Pac. I didn't, I didn't know he smoked I know like that. that. My nigga. So. You know you what, you said? I didn't know he smoked so like with, that. So with okay, yeah, Pac, yeah. he and didn't. he smoked cigarettes, too. Pac didn't, at least in my, my opinion, right. Pac didn't smoke to get high, he smoked to be normal. Because right. mm. he was just really high strung. Right. So, so much so, like, like when we be on the down. road, like if he didn't have weed, he just get on your fucking nerves. Right. So now, we go to cities, I'm looking for weed. And I don't even smoke weed. I just want to get to him so he don't get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> so we not fighting, right? right? So, you know, I remember one time we was in, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a few stories, but I'll tell you. We was in um, St. Louis. No, 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 Louisville. Okay, Kentucky? Yeah, it's the summertime. And I always say, and I talk about it in my book, too, my book. Mm. What's the name of the book? Um, right now is the hype man, but it'll be out next year. Okay. Um, so I've got these chicks, and I was like, "Y'all know where to get some weed?" They was like, "Yeah, we can go." Da da da. So we go in this hood, it's summertime, and this motherfucker's on. Now this is the early '90s. Crack is crazy. Right. So it's like ten motherfuckers on every corner, yeah. and they all black as hell. It looked like a slave plantation. Yeah, it was just look. Everybody had their shirt off and all this shit. Yeah. And the chicks go into the house and get the weed, and then they come out, and they like, yo. As soon as they get in the car, they was like, man, I hope they didn't sell us no bad, no fake weed. And then Fox said, what? Oh, hell no. We're going back into the house, and we getting our weed. Oh. And I'm looking around. I'm like, yeah, we're not going back What? <laughs> <laughs> and he started going off. What? Luckily, it was real weed. Oh, okay. But if it wasn't... Right. I don't know what we would have did because yeah. was, we wasn't going to leave there alive. <laughs> they were selling reggae back then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From what the Brazies was talking about, I well, guess that's what it was. Geez, but yeah, man. Yeah. And, you know, but so, you know, I'm just saying that Pac, he needed weed. Right. And he, you know, he was a big component of it. Always. So imagine prison without it. Right. I'm sure he was getting it. Yeah. You know, What's you your favorite it. part of the game? Is it making the record or performing the record? Equally, it's two different highs, right? Yep. So you you know you make you make a record, so it's your art, it's your expression. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is how you this is how you really feel. Mm -hmm. You hope that people love it, but then when they do, and you're on stage, and you get that energy. Mm -hmm. Coming back to yeah. you, you putting out this it's energy, like fire in the gun. and then you get it back. It's like, right. bro, it's a high that you can't, you can't even explain to people who don't get that high, right. Right. who don't, who don't get to experience that. Right. You know, if they're looking from the sidelines, they're like, yeah, that's cool, but you know how that feels, especially right. when it's your art. Right. If you were doing karaoke, it would be one thing, right. but you're actually expressing the things that you thought you wrote. This is your feelings. They might not even know. You might be telling a heartfelt story, but if it's on a dope beat. They just rock into it. You don't give a fuck. Because after the show, somebody can be like, I really love that story. Guess what? Right. Mm -hmm. I went through the same thing with my mom and da 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 da. I'm sure you get that all the time mm -hmm. with the music. And another thing that I'll dispel is that if you're a creative, you never stop creating. Mm -hmm. So let's get past this thing of, you know, you're 
too old or you're whatever because yeah, we don't do that. Bro. We don't do that with Keith Richards and, and Mick Jagger. Nah, that's just nah, right. ridiculous. So you know, yeah, Mick Jagger, ninety nine, right? Yeah. Now. So I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right, right. yeah I don't even know if I it's think a it's an industry yeah. construct. To be honest with you, yeah. Well, yeah, to push to, to keep to keep people in these contracts that they young people will sign. Yeah. Because when you get older, you, you get smarter, the knowledge. You're like, nah, I don't want that contract. Right. So now nah, it's a young man's sports. What they will tell you. Right. Yeah, that's what they would tell you because that's what. Yeah. It, now it, we, it, but yeah. we, but we also know that hip hop is a youth is a is a youth movement. It came from a youth movement. Absolutely. It's youthful energy. Right. So you, it's always going to be mostly that. But that doesn't mean like like Jay-Z I don't give a fuck. I don't give album. a fuck right. what you say. Nah, I just dropped the album. If if we if this show is over and we're leaving, and Nori's in his car uh, and a dope beat come on, he might think of a. Yeah. Bar. I still, of course. I still do. Right. I, I don't want to, but I still do. But you know what I mean? You can't do. help it. It's just. No, nah, the it's, other day, I ain't gonna lie, you right. The other day, just beat just started playing. I just started writing rhymes and I caught myself like, nigga, you were tired. Yeah. Like, but, like, but, but, I, but, but you don't. But, yeah. but, 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 but that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Why are you retired? Like, we yeah. don't tell doctors to retire. Right. They can still heal you no matter right. how old they are. We don't tell artists that can paint to retire. Right. We don't look at a painting and be like, how old was he when he did that? Right. And then judge it on his age. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. Art is art. No, no, I agree with you. You understand what I'm you. saying? One million percent, but I retired myself, though. But, I just, like, but you're not. You ain't unretired yeah. yourself not, all the time. But you're not retired. Because, you do, you do, because you do, you look, do. look, look, listen. Not really. With, with, with the NFTs, I'm going to come back. I'm like, let's do a Drink Champs NFT. And you're going to do a bar. No, that's, do a NF, that's still my But you're going to do a verse. No, I don't you know. will. You will. I don't know. Who, who asked you will. to do a verse? Ja Rule just asked, he sent me a fire record. I've been avoiding that. You're gonna do it. My brother, you just did a record hey, not too long ago. Hey, like, yo. You still got bars. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, big up to Ja Rule. Big up to Ja Rule. My brother, he crept into my DM after Shock Pass. He's a little crazy. He, uh, oh, no, after Shock Pass. After Shock right. Pass. You just talking about, you just digging in your DM. Like, what is this no, going on? He didn't even crack the show, my man. Like, niggas don't creep, they go into your DM. They don't creep. They creep it. Motherfucking Ja, ja Rule, respectfully, with love, came into my DM after Shock passed and was like, yo, condolences, bro. Right, okay. Salute out of nowhere. Okay. You know what I mean? I was right. like, Ja, my motherfucking man. Salute, yeah. Ja Rule. Love it. I thought yeah, the like, love that Shock got was amazing and I thought it was well deserved. You know, like. Um, yeah. And salute to you on your first album uh, on the change. Mm, you be like, mm, some haters spite uh, for spite. I'm uh, like, Digital on the ground, do what you like. I'm like, yeah, nigga, like, talk that shit. Come on, let's talk. Um, you know, him, I, at my old encounters with Shock G, it was me realizing more and more how much of a genius he was. Because I always looked at him like the party guy. I never looked at him. I didn't know he was producing the shit. I didn't know he was the orchestra. Right. I didn't know he all this. So, again, like I said, I actually thought Shock G and Humpty were two different people. That's crazy. Like, for real, until, like, I actually... I, I'm not sure if I was got in the music business, I, I would have ever discovered it. <laughs> like, I mean, because, you know, but, um, yeah, him and Prodigy was probably... The illest deaths Ooh. that I wanted to be like, damn! I wish they would have got some of that love while they was Ooh. alive. Like, P. you know, like um, when P died, I, I, I just, I just, it felt like God bless, God bless me for saying this, but it felt like when Biggie died. Like, you know how much like love, like it was being shattered because a lot of people knew that Big really didn't have nothing to do with the negative shit that happened with Pop. And when I get to see what, 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 what Prodigy. And I, when I got to see it with, with Shock G, those are two deaths that I really wish they they, they would have seen, you know. Yeah. Half man. of that love, like like in real life, you know what I'm saying? So 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 I I'm not sure because so so Shock G was the one who said that he wanted you to play him in the movie, regardless regardless Absolutely. of what movie it was. Right. Was it the two part movie established at that time or no? Um, yeah, it, it was yeah. it was being developed. But you still got to go in there and audition, correct? Or the, his word was just bomb. Yeah, no, no, no. It was. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I had to go in there and make it happen. And shout out to my brother LT Hutton for fighting me because I had no previous experience. So that it was, was your acting, first I was just about to ask you, yeah, nigga, it was the first shit I auditioned for. Right. Wow. So. It's, he was nervous a month. And you know how the game go. Mm. <clears throat> the the casting agents 
I forgive me my voice, pardon yeah. me. Oh. But you know how the you know the uh, the casting people, they looking out for people they have relationships. Yeah, they got relationships. With. So there's a whole so bunch of other light skinned niggas. I come in there, in there. this random nigga knocking yeah. on the door like, yo, I got a motherfucking uh, a submission, and they looking at me like the movie. They looking yo, at me yo, like, who is this nigga? <laughs> but LT Hutton, one of the realest brothers to walk the earth, was like, yo, this motherfucker is shocked, and no one could fade me. Right. You know what I mean? No one could fade what I right. did. Right. So, you know, and that's LT's work. Yeah, shout out to LT. Yeah, you know, I told you at the beginning I'm a, I was a bad actor. Right. right. So, okay. LT just put me in that shit. <laughs> and that's the thing with, with, with the movie All Eyes on Me. Right. A lot of people, you know, a, a friend of mine said it was like, you make a movie about Jesus, everybody going to have an issue. Right. You make a movie about Pac, everybody going to have an issue. Oh, I said that. You said, said that too. Yeah, I said you one of my friends too. Yeah, yeah. I'm you you, you, I'm you know friend. what it is with the Pac movie. I'm, you make a movie about and, Jesus. And now nobody's with, gonna be with Netflix that. being so popular, it almost feel like the Pac movie was supposed to be a series. Right. It should have been. It should have. Because he had. I or think. It could have been. Here's, first, here's now. the thing. Wait, 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 let me ask. The okay. Biggie movie came first, correct? Right. Yeah. So that's what I think they were trying to do. Was trying to co like compliment the Biggie movie where. Pac had more, although they probably had the no, same it was amount of time years over, later, though. Pac had so much more. It was so many layers and so much that that, that it, it couldn't fit in two hours. It, yeah, it, it didn't fit. fit. I'm gonna be honest with you, it didn't feel right. Okay. It didn't fit everything that we I liked think it. that me, it could have. I liked the Pac movie. I'm one of the five people that did. I, I, I love the Pac movie. No, 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 no. I, I did it too. I, I did it too. But I think it could have been a way better film. But everybody around me always well, says you know what? But I don't know. Yeah. So. I keep hearing that, but I don't know how. I mean, I understand if we could, if we could stretch it out. You know, you can't fit it all in two hours. But the two hours that you got, is it because you you felt like you didn't get get it all? Because remember, here's here's a backlash that I got about that movie. People would talk about the NWA movie and, and talk about how much better that was, and and the reason they said is because Dre is here. Well, they said that the NWA movie. Gave you more information, right? Right. But I, I, I NWA was throughout their career, they were secretive about their personal right, lives. Right. Right. Pop gave you everything in real time, mm. so you weren't gonna learn anything new about Tupac in a Tupac movie per se because he already gave it to you. Mm. He gave you everything. So I guess what matters is for you who lived it. Because I lived both. That's what right. I'm saying. You lived it. You knew him. Was it good enough for you? It was good enough for so me. So that's all that matters. Yeah. So I mean, right. I don't, I don't, I, I, I will right. tell everybody that I thought that it was a good movie, and I don't have a problem with it. If people say, well, they didn't tell everything or they compressed it, I'll accept people's opinions. Right. But I'll never walk. I'll never leave a room letting anybody think that I was part of a bad project. Right. It wasn't. You know, and, and I know, and I, and, I, and I do have to say this. Benny Boom, big him up. That's the yeah. director. Benny Boom, Thanks. my guy, That's LT. I, I will say Boom this. At, Let me say this. Yeah, go ahead. Everybody on that set did everything they could to be as precise, to do everything they could to make the best movie that they could. And to add to what he's saying, it's like Benny Boom, he was attached to the movie in, I believe, November before it started in December shooting, Super which had a contractual right, thing. Right. Like, normally directors get six months to a year yeah, yeah. to sit and map the shit out, no, no, figure yeah. how they want to do it. It was, there was, so, it was beset with so much people trying to cause problems, and we're going to get into all of that, but there's a lot of different, there were a lot of different things, a lot of drama, controversy surrounding the movie. So Benny Boom came in in like the fourth quarter to make it happen and came through like, oh, I'm directing the Pac movie, and we start next week. Let's get it. So salute to Benny Boom for doing what he did we'll like out, in right. real time. And, like real and, shit. It was, and it was perfect because Benny Boom, you know, he came from that era. He right. grew up in it, so he, he could understand it a little bit. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never... So, Anybody has an opinion about it, I don't even try to defend or argue. Right. I just listen and be like, all right, cool. But if you ask me, I thought it was good. I mean, I mean, oh, great, no, 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 let me say this. I don't know, Biggie, okay. let, 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 let me say this. I thought that it was as accurate as it could be. Right. Mm. And I was actually, with the Digital Underground segment of it, I was a consultant. Mm -hmm. in on our part of it. Mm -hmm. So I know that it was as real as it So maybe be. accuracy isn't the issue. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's the thing. But 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 people place that. They place accuracy and knowing something that they didn't know. I think something like, that threw it off was they, they had Snoop Dogg's real voice 
with a knot in Snoop Dogg. I, that, that fucked me up. Shout out to my nigga Jerry. You did your that thing, bro. Me up. I'm like, that's Snoop real boy, but that not Snoop right there. Hey, wait. I forgot about that boy. Yeah, like, that just fucked me up. Wait, it was really Snoop? Oh, you didn't see? I was, oh, I was watching the theaters. Yeah. I was like, no, we, I, we went to the screening together, didn't we? In LA? No, he was like, oh, I, 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 uh, I went to the premiere here in Miami. I, I didn't go to the premiere. I went to the actual theater. And I looked and I was like, yo, when I caught that, I was like, that's the fucked up. Sh-. But I see how accurate they was trying to be, though. Hey, yo, my nigga, yeah, yeah. My, my nigga Jared that played him, okay. he just has a different voice, man. It wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked. He looked so, it, but it right. wouldn't have worked. You know right. what I'm saying? They call yeah, Snoop. I mean, and so what I always tell people. And homie, wait, look, just like pop. Remember your thought. Remember your thought. Out of the three movies, what you, which, what, what do you, what you like the most? Biggie, Pac, or N.W.A.? Mm. Out of the three? Yeah. I think I enjoyed... The NWA movie. Yeah. Okay. Straight out of country. I, I agree with you. I think I And I think there's a big takeaway for the Park movie from that. Yeah. Because so it wasn't as accurate as you're saying, and everybody says that across the board. What? Say that again? They said it wasn't as accurate. What? The NWA movie. Oh, no, it wasn't. But I still so, enjoyed it. So, so right. I'm saying, though. Why? Because like, they made themselves right. look better? Enjoyment, no, accuracy. No, not necessarily. Like just making a great film. They made a movie. Yeah. Right. right? So, yeah. it's things in that movie that I, that I know. I was, you know, like I said, I was... I right. like that didn't happen like that. Right, but like, whatever. Yeah, but it was still like, good. Like that, didn't make, that, that didn't make me go, ugh. Like people that said movie. that that should, like, Thug and Easy E part didn't happen. Well, imagine, just for example, in, in Straight Out of Compton, <laughs> they have Easy E, whatever point, and they made it seem like he went back to selling weed, right? Mm-hmm. But in fucking 94, Bone Thugs and Harmony was out. That mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. What the fuck you There's mean? There's a lot. There's a lot. Even <laughs> what you mean? When we had Cube, when we had he Cube, was... I asked Cube about Arabian Prince. Where was Arabian Prince yeah, Ara- in the movie? Bro, Arabian Prince is He's key. Listen to that. I was with Arabian Prince the other night. Arabian Prince, if you listen, I'm sorry. I'm in, I gotta say it, I was impressed. Right. I asked this nigga. Because you know, Arabian Prince been in the tech and gaming for a long time. Right, right. Like I said, I've been doing my podcast, so I've had him on. And I'm like, Bro, how many how many bitcoins you hold? He's like uh, about three hundred and twenty. What? They, those are how many coins? Arabian Prince. Dang. Oh man, yes. that's just yes. Bitcoin. He's out of here. Arabian King. That's just just Bitcoin. <laughs> he's Arabian <laughs> coin. But he Arabian Prince is in that. He's in. Holy uh, shit! Because he was into he was into the gaming and tech a long time ago. Wow. 320. That is absolute, that's insane. And that's just his Bitcoin. That's a lot of motherfucking money. Like I said, I'm, you know, Raven Prince, my guys. Yeah, you I want to tell you putting a little money. bit of business out but, there. But it don't matter, because he'll tell you. Uh, I'm just uh, telling you, that ain't all he got. I'm just saying that's... Right, right, right. That's, that's crazy. He's a, that shows you how early he's he was a, in. He was ahead of, he's because you're not going to get that much unless you're early. Uh, right. Uh, so... Okay. No, 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 no. So, but oh. but Arabian Prince wasn't in it. JJ Fad wasn't in it. Right. right. JJ Fad actually was the reason that they were able to to do the, the Straight Outta Compton album. JJ Fad was the record that popped that bought the money in for them to do it. But but this is the thing. This is my point to why I said that. The ruthless record. Uh, that I feel like the Pac movie could have been as theatrical as great as NWA. And what happens is, is like NWA wasn't as accurate but it was such a good it was a good film, film. Right. that if you're interested in the story you will dig in the crates right you will figure it out and F. Gary Gray had that time to really sit and, and I felt that pop, shit out that's where I felt the pop movie fell okay. a little short and, and that's, and that's, that's my, what I'm saying my opinion. well that's what I'm saying I'm, I, I, I can ex- accept that and right. I wouldn't dispute it right. if that's how you feel you know maybe I'm, I'm too close to it I'm just saying that when if people come to me about accuracy I have to laugh at it if they bring up N.W.A. as the, no, as that's the, not the, that's yeah. not as the, the point of, that's yeah. not the blueprint of accuracy. This wasn't, no, no, no. it's yeah. not. And even even Cube, he, he said it on our show when yeah. I brought up Arabian Prince. Uh, what did he, uh, why did he I say? I don't remember what he his response was, but he Arabian he, Prince. And then also, so and then Atron's not even in the N.W.A. movie. He was mm. the road manager, but then in the Tupac movie, they made Atron one person. Right. Uh. <laughs> well, because Pac had a few managers. Right. And they just made one manager throughout his career, but in in 
it makes sense because I asked LT, he's like, bro, I can't keep introducing a new character every 30 minutes. Right, right, right. Because now you don't know right. who he is. You have to explain who this person is. So they compressed, you know, Wat Watani, Right, they made Atrin, a character of and, a bunch you know, of characters, had, right. right. Amalgamation. Pac had, a, Pac had a few, so they just made the manager character a combination of... And, and really quick, for anybody that's not understanding what we're talking about, Arabian Prince, He's in the album cover of Straight Outta Compton. Yeah, he's he's one of the guys looking down in the album cover. Well, Arabian Prince had a solo career. Right. Yeah. He was that guy. He, he fucked with Uncle Jam's army and the Egyptian lover. That, right. That, that, no, no, he was a legend was already no at that point. Shit. Yeah, he he was one of the bigger guys when it started. Right. He was the name, the name guy. And to add to the storytelling shit, I just seen the brother Divine, Rizzo's brother, talking about the Wu series. And he's like, bro, we have 11 siblings in the show that's four. Mm -hmm. But to have 11 brothers and sisters on a show, it's so much. On the show, there's four. Because you can kind of process that. You can't really, 11 motherfuckers, it's mm -hmm. too much, it's too much going on. So to tell a story, you gotta make adjustments. You, you know condense I mean? so, it, right. Yeah, I should've been in the movie more. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so let me ask you this. It seems like Pac almost like predicted his rape case, right? I'm gonna say these vocals. Predicted? Yeah. You got lyrics? I, I, you got around, lyrics? I get around. Yeah, I, I get around. around. No yeah. way. Yeah, Go listen, ahead, listen to the locals. Okay. It says, listen you don't know me. You just met me. You won't let me. Jeez. Well, I couldn't have it, silly rabbit. Why you sweating me? It's a lot of real G's doing time. Because the group, group be, Bit what, the truth and told a lie. Bit the truth and told you a lie. The wall. Nah, baby, if you're too fly, you need to hit the door. <laughs> so you know that's what's mind state. So why would that happen? This is what I'm saying. It's Are you going back like to the attraction part? Pac spoke a lot attracting of... These <laughs> it's things. almost like he, he, he predicted that. He spoke a lot of shit into reality. Well... You could say it that way, but that to me that's not that's not attracting it because if he had said she if in that same rhyme he was saying that she was accusing me and I'm going to jail, then I would say you're attracting it. Right. Yeah. In that rhyme he's saying Other people This is why I'm not fucking with you because people get accused. This is what happened when right, right, right. It just so happened that he did. So we have to come with another example. Yeah. Nori. Kinda. No. I mean. No. I mean, listen, I'm no. I mean, it's pretty. It's, no. It's pretty, it's yeah. Kinda. That's okay. like you say, I like Frank, so then you, a Frank hit you in your face. Like, hey, man, you, you kind of, you kind of predicted it. Like, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just. He said you found the wrong guy. Uh oh. Yeah, he said you, you would. I don't. Know. <laughs> Uh, you making lemon water over there? He, hey, he getting shot in the face. You want a tea? My lemon. Hey, for everybody paying attention, I was at the Ray and Ghost and Jizz show, and I was wilding. They're not paying my attention. Voice. I just want everybody to know. Nobody's God paying attention. It. I just want everybody to know. Take a shot. I was on, wilding. What are you taking, lemons? I'm just like, I was just lemon smashing. straight. You I can't have lemon Ciroc. water on drink chairs? You got me yeah. on Ciroc. Let me well, get a little Ciroc. Ciroc. No, right here, right here, right here. That's yeah. your thing. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. All right. Where's Sunny D, B, and T? Went to the bathroom and the No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I, I like you good. No, I was just. No, go ahead. Right, Boris, sit so, down. You gonna have shots now? Boris, I, I know. I know this is a generic ass question. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I know this is a generic ass question, but it's warranted. Um, did you ever think hip hop would make it this far? Um, I had no idea. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't doing it for. The outlook of it, I was doing it mm. for the the love of it, if mm. that makes sense. Because mm. when we started doing it, it wasn't making, it wasn't a billion dollar industry. It Not was a whatever dollar industry that it was. So even where where was Hammer when you guys started coming out? Like what what level was he? At? Hammer from the Bay Area too, right? From up town, okay. town business. Okay. Hey, I, Hammer. Like, I just yeah. feel like Hammer doesn't get a fair shake because Facts. he broke all those barriers and then got clown for it. For and then everything to do, to yeah, do to do it now, yeah. Right. Right. He broke them and then he started doing commercials, Pepsi and chicken and all that shit. Right. And everybody was like, oh, this ain't hip hop, we would never do that. Uh, uh, and then motherfuckers turn around, now everybody right. getting a Sprite uh, uh, commercial. Uh, yeah, that You feel me? Uh, so, give, I, call him, I call him Uncle Ham. All right. You know what I mean? And Hammer. We want hammer on. Do you have? Chance, you, you need hammer on. Yeah, we, now we need now hammer. We'll sit here and tell you like tell you stories about Little Richard. Wow. Like you know I can you know, tell you I can tell you, icon, I, can, I can tell you stories about 
Big Daddy Kane and Rakim. This nigga is telling you You're about. Tell us about Hammer. This nigga is telling you about <laughs> Little, Rich. Little Richard Little and Michael Richard. Jackson. Right. He got Michael Jackson and Little Richard stories. Wow. You need Hammer on your show. No, we need him. Absolutely. I'll get him. Goddamn man. I, I look. I'll call Oakland. He said he's down. Now look, he said he's down. He just said it's a timing thing. So yeah, because, let's help the timing thing out. You, know, you can help. He's why wow, he's still on tour. No, no, Hammer, Hammer, Hammer and some tech shit too. Hammer. Huh? No, he Hammer. just he just wants it to be the right timing. Yeah. Thing. Okay. He's winning. Okay. We was about to go on tour with him in 2020. Yeah, he don't need us. Hammer nah, he don't need, he don't need no, nothing. I ain't, I ain't saying no, that. No, not that, but, but yeah. what I'm saying is... We, we just want to give him his just, flowers. He we definitely want to give him his flowers. Yeah. Right. MC Search talked about him on so, too. So, well, they had the discrepancy. They had discrepancy? <laughs> White and black thing? No. Nah, I just... It was the just commercial versus it. non-commercial. I'm just fishing. Just fishing. Go ahead. <laughs> Search and Hammer. That's a, that was, Hammer's a legend, they're, man. They're, Hands down. They're facts. Hands Hammer down. and Search are both family to me. Wow. So it was just unfortunate. Wow. I think. But Who it, winning was, in the it was that battle. era. It was that era that they were Who's trying. Who's winning between Hammer and Search? The versus battle. Hammer and Search. Hammer, man, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I know your Ham, face. I think Hammer's winning. Yeah, Hammer? Hang on. I don't know. Get his face. All due respect to MC Search and third base, but Hammer's Can't winning. Can't touch this? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you if you did a, a versus battle and it was on a stage, yeah. Hammer would win if you were playing the songs, right? Because how many hits does Third Base have? Right. They have the Gas Face and they have Stepping to the AM and what else? Um, uh, Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Right. Um, but. What Brooklyn Queens. Back, back to the grill again. Back to the grill again. Well, that, the grill that's again. searched by himself, but he could use that. He could do yeah, that. Yeah, he could use it. Yeah. He could use all the shit. Anything that he's doing. Him. Yeah, Nas. He could bring Nas out. But, you know, he's going to run all out. All the hammers is just come out with all the dancers. He's going to yeah, run out of songs before Hammer does. He still do, but those, do those moves. Search could <laughs> could possibly save it and win it because Search can, can, can freestyle. So he's like, all right, every song you play, So Hammer can't freestyle? It. I've never heard Hammer freestyle. Okay. I've heard him beat up a bunch of people. <laughs> Hammer can fight. Hammer's a G. He can Hammer's, fight. that's the thing you know that people don't know about yeah, Hammer, they, man. They, they, yeah, they Hammer's a G. Up. He's well respected in the up on tour. Because right. niggas just try to play him. Right. And Hammer, nah, Hammer, had, yeah. Hammer had hands. Right. He hats, had hands, and, he, and, 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 and his, his brother, you know. He come from some, some shit. No, nah, Hammer's God a damn. G. Goddamn, big up Hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hammer, Ham. So is there anything else you want to say before we get up out of here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we was talking about it, and I'm, you know, just want to express, we were talking about Tupac and the cannabis. Right. You know, I, I, I am a part of a company, um, Cannabis Venture Partners, so we're a solutions company. So for artists, I know, and I know you guys uh -huh. heard of Compton Grinders, right? Mm -hmm. So we're partners with Compton. Oh, yeah, they gave us yeah, a grinder. With Crazy Bone, yeah. yeah. They gave me a big ass yeah. So yeah. our, our company is, yeah. is partners with them. Dope. Okay. So for companies like that and even for artists, if you want to, we're, we're a cannabis this solutions is I company. You see, you see, even he does that? I don't like this. I don't like this. We need our own fucking I mean, but artists. it's because he's wearing you those glasses that? now that Kanye yeah. gave him. Yeah. Like Kanye gave him like those it. glasses and he thinks yeah. he can do all that. We're a cannabis solutions company. So if you need, you know, if you need a property, sell your dispensary, if you're trying to figure out what what's gonna sell? Yeah. Cannabis venture partners. We do that, and then we were talk what I wanted to say about the Tupac, the movie is like so many. And you said it. Remember, you said uh -huh. there you can hear ten stories about Tupac, yeah. and I said they're all true. They're all true. Yeah. Meaning that I don't even know if you ever met Pac or any I of you Pac. ever did. No, I but, never but, met. I, but, I never but met. so I always say people come to me and be like, yeah, such and such said he did this with Pac and da 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 and I'll be like you know I have no reason to doubt what right. somebody yeah. says yeah. if I wasn't right. with them because Pac was that person he, right. he, if he met you and he was with you for an hour he touched you for a lifetime mm -hmm. in a sense right. right so I said there is eventually going to be a movie some chick is going to tell the story about how she Pac came to town got her pregnant mm -hmm. She went through yeah, the state. some kids out and here. Never, some and never had the kids, baby, yeah. but they had conversations and da da da. That's a movie. Right. Mm -hmm. So I said there can be. So we talk about. None of y'all used condoms back then. So. <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't use condoms. But that, that was a, right. That's a blanket that's statement, by the way. Come y'all got some kids right now. Y'all used. I know, so y'all know. And y'all ain't had pages back well, then either. So y'all was just busting in shit. Freaks in the industry. You got kids in Chicago you don't know about. You got to tell the story. You got to tell the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The story is, 
the story is. <laughs> the story's about condoms? I did wear condoms. So, but, but the one time. But what they called Jimmy Hats no, back then? No, he said the one Jimmy time he wore a condom. The one time, the one time you did. Oh, oh, yeah. He was doing okay. a lot of titty fucking. Okay. A lot of titty right. fucking. I'm, I used to be a titty fucker, bro. Yeah. Go ahead. You guys yeah, okay, so about jerking off, right? There, there was a time <laughs> You know, when we first came out, so it's like nineteen ninety or whatever. Uh-huh. So we go and I'm not gonna elaborate, but we went to Wichita, Kansas. Mm. And something happened. White girl. No. Okay. She was native. Okay. Okay. Nice. Right? She had real hair. She, huh? had, she had real hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, gotta continue. So, <laughs> what are you calling? After that. They did. Okay. They got nice hair. They got I don't nice even hair. know what that fucking means. <laughs> they got nice hair. Man. This is terrible. That's, Whatever. That's what they said. So, anyways, <laughs> I know that I was dreading to ever go back to Wichita, Kansas, because I just knew then when I popped up, you had there was a little money bee running around somewhere. <laughs> a child was going to come up. <laughs> Maybe like two years later, like 93 ish, I go back, I'm looking around, nothing ever happened. And then well, we went back there a few more times. So I was like, oh, yeah. So you good? Yeah. There was he, no, might come, he might come. He might come. There might be a digital well, underground. If, 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 if it ever happened, he's native. <laughs> <laughs> With freckles. <laughs> With freckles. Gotcha. So, man. yeah. So, yeah, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. So we, we're talking about, I said, any of these, is going to be a bunch of, I, I, I promote and I welcome more Tupac movies. Mm-hmm. Because there's so many. How about Tupac series? Oh, how about digital underground? Sales? Well, that's what I, I was thinking. I think all of them yeah, collectively. Yeah. So we are, you know, we're, we're working on that. That's fine. And then also, and, and, and I heard you talking, but I'm also part of a, a streaming network called mm. Fire Streaming Network. Mm. And was like a SoundCloud? What is it like? No, it's an actual okay. streaming, like a Hulu. <laughs> Hulu, about yeah. Hulu. Right. Okay. So it, it's 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 black owned. Okay. We're in a 122 countries, over 12,000. Okay. So, pieces of content but we're by the time this comes out I don't know when you're going to release it but yeah. we'll be public so it's, okay. so without it even being marketed globally we're at that point you got you porn on your streaming services you not porn yet. not yet not yet but we do oh, have we do have on, on, yeah, I'm we have you. a okay. sports a boxing channel yeah you guys should high five on that one <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I know I'm in. is that the same hand same hand nah, you spend it different hand different hand <laughs> It's it's that young <laughs> oh, yeah, Vire yeah. Streaming Network. Yeah. Look for that shit. That's fire. Um, What's the name of the streaming network? Vire. 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 Not Vire, Vire with like V. 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 Y R E. Okay. V. No. V as in victory. All right. That's my name. Y-R-E. Victor. All right. R E. Oh, Vire. I've seen it. I've seen Vire. I've seen that. Right. I've so, absolutely seen like, that. Like I said, it's, it's been out, so it's moving. They hit us up actually. But it's honest, actually yeah. getting ready. Yeah. We and we do we do live stream. So I'm I'm I'm. Talent and content mm. supervisor. So if you got some shit, I can mm. I can green light your shit. God damn. Let's do it. Come on, God damn. Throw yeah. smoke champs through there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, but, but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. On Vire, we do have Cannavid TV, which is a cannabis channel, which if you guys want to, that's what I was thinking. Mm. Hey. Mm. Smoke champs. Yeah, okay. Big up. Let's, yeah, big up let's, smoke let's go champs. crazy with it. Big up, all the yeah, smoke champs. So yeah. that, and then with Cannabis Venture Partners, you know, with all of what we do. So we have you in the cannabis space. And at the same like, I always want to say all of these ventures that we do is really about, if you notice, every time I say that I'm into something, it's, it's consulting, it's management, it's agency. Because mm-hmm. it's about bringing people into the space right, right. with me. I'm not in these spaces just trying to eat up for myself. Mm-hmm. I just feel like, you know, this game has given so much to me. Mm-hmm. And 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 all of us are able to make a living Absolutely. from the culture that Absolutely. we come from. Yep. Mm-hmm. So the culture is giving back to us. Mm-hmm. So we're at the age now, it's like we, we can see these young people or you can say young people or you can just say people before us that don't have the, the educational knowledge that we have, mm-hmm. let's share it. This nigga you know? is the oracle yeah, right there's, here. There's, it's there's, the oracle there's, right there's, here. There's a thing, you know, you can say it's out the bay or you call it them game. The game is to be sold, not told. But mm-hmm. we're at the point to like, we have it now. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about share selling it. it. Let's share it. Share it. Let's share it. You What's know? that artist you said that from the bay? So I don't remember that. Little before. Mikey TMB. Little Mikey TMB. TMB. Okay. And and TMB oh. means the money boy. Mm. Okay. Hot, hot business. Okay. All right, then y'all, let's get this to it. Take these pictures. Take these pictures.
ounces of these drops. 